and they didn't talk about it, but then they talked about how the engineers were thinking of going to the U.S. and somebody pulled out a, a model of like the lunar lander. At the hey, end. rocket scientist, you're a scientist. Um, what is the science behind your work, actually? What, rocket what asking do you do that what so, so Saddam had on flat Earth. It's more like engineering, you were saying before. It's not quite science, right? It's really hard. It would be kind of hard to differentiate those things most of the time. But what do they call rocket rocket scientists? They're just engineers. It's just a nickname. Yeah, why? How does that come about? Why? Silly. Because his job takes slightly more skills than Mark formulas than my job does. But They're just like a glorified much. airplane yeah. engine, and right? There's chemo. Uh, no, no chemo. There are two Engi streams. Engi you can go into aeronautics or aerospace. I went to aerospace. I don't work on... I ha I actually have worked on FADEC engine control systems for aircraft, for that matter. Engine... Or engines. Engineers are scientists, chemo. That's what I'm asking. What is, the science? Science. what is the science that they do? Applied science. They're the guys that make your car go vroom, vroom and, and drive places. That's the mechanic. What science do they no, do? No, that's the engineers. No, the engineers that design the car and have the mechanic. Well, I don't even... They have you don't know what you're talking about, Dad Ross. Get. Look, the mechanic so, uh, works rocket on it scientists and keeping, fixes keeping, problems with it. Keeping it an silent. engineer actually designs and, and It's just sure a nickname, he said. You don't so hear what he said. It's just a oh, nickname. He's not a real scientist. He's an engineer. See? Doesn't make him less of a scientist. Yeah, he's keeping a, a satellite in space, keeping the cameras calibrated so the images are comparable across satellites. That's not science, not that though, is it? That's just, a, that's just an engineer, right? So can I answer your question, or are you going to flop your gums in the middle? I thought you just answered, but go on. just want to make sure you, you stop talking. Mm-hmm. Attitude control of the spacecraft to make sure that it's stable pointing. Thrust, thruster calculation to make to, to correct for the orbital orbital maneuvers of the spacecraft. Now you may argue that those are not science, but as far as I'm concerned, those it falls in, into that area because I have to I have to as I have to take the state of the system, then I have to figure out how I'm going to manipulate it so I can get to the get to the other state that I want it to be in. Mm, again, it's. It's not science, really. There, I mean, it's more like it what is science said. because he can make an independent and dependent variable, and he can affect both of them. So, uh, again, that's not really science. He doesn't really have an observed what? phenomenon. So, he does have what? an observed phenomenon. I've been practicing this one, chemo. The um, observed phenomenon the observe, is, is an observe, object uh, going around the Earth. This is orbits like a moon, right? Oops. He's able to make an experiment, right? The dependent variable is going to be the spacecraft, and the independent variable is the amount of thrust applied to keep it within the orbit, right? And then the observation is that the satellite continues going. So it actually falls under real science. Well, uh, what we've got is... Um, you know, no, Timo, it's not well what we got. I've taken... I wrote down what you've been saying over the past few days, right? Taking this QE bullshit that nothing in the re real world is science, and then I have actually made a real science experiment, right, using yeah. a natural observation. Mm -hmm. So there you go. Stuff. Yeah, but like... Which means, day, which means uh -huh. this is science, right, and the science is proving that orbits exist, right? Yeah. And that means that the land is curved and you're on a globe. Yeah. Yeah, Flat but Earth no. is dying. Came yeah, but no, yeah, you're but right. right. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah kind of, but no. You're right. right. Yeah. Kind of, but we no. Need find a new sort scam of, but came sort of not. The you know? flat Earth is collapsing. Sort of. Nathan sort knows of, it. Sort, sort of right, but knows it's it. not sort you of. You all know it. Not sort of accurate. You all know though, the you know? flat Earth is collapsing. You need to find a new scam. So, uh, Smooth, uh, what we're looking at, um, and they're uh, rocket scientists here. Hold on there, Davros. Remember, you've just made an error with Jeremy with angles, and you thought Central America was in the Amazon. So, Let's not make oh, any more mistakes. Oh, we're going here. there again, are we? Because it's not Davros, you dipshit. Right, anyway, so look, we've got a it's rocket scientist. The guy that wasn't involved in the conversation. Smooth that said he's been looking at the... Smooth like, said he's been looking at the... You keep trying to do this. Yeah. Everyone else knows who I am, but you seem to keep <laughs> fucking up. But I'm not Davros. You didn't have anything to do with the conversation uh, that you just referenced. 
No, it's just like you're about to tell me I'm wrong, I'm wrong, and you've made an abundance of mistakes over the last few days, right? Mm, no. So this chemo's new shtick, I, I caught that, that there's no real science happening anywhere? Is this what he's... No, 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 I didn't yeah. get to yeah. respond yeah. rocket oh, okay. science. That makes, that, no, didn't get to respond or anything. It's not really new, it's recycled. Well, I didn't even get to right. respond, because everyone's got their hot mic. All right, Kimo, respond to me. I'm respond trying to, to respond, but everyone's all jumping all, right. all over So stop, stop using your time to complain and start using it to formulate a response. Okay. 45 okay. seconds. Okay. So... You said you manipulated variables, but you did so without a, an observed phenomenon. Now, let me finish. Yeah, no, we did. Let me finish. Nope. You asked me for my response. Okay. So, wrong. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, so your device is man-made, yes? So any effect yeah. that we see in that device is man-made, and it's not an observed phenomenon in nature. Over to you. Uh, actually, okay. can I... Yeah, yeah, hold on. One... The observed phenomena right. is the altitude decay of the spacecraft due, due to aerodynamic drag. The observed phenomena right. is what? The altitude. That's not an observed phenomena in nature again. This is okay, just keep okay, Any here body go, in that buddy. object, in that orbit, it'll behave that way. Well, of course it will. Here we go. It. Ready? Why wouldn't it? Um, I, I was talking to some of your represent representatives, right, yeah. about what a true experiment was. Mm -hmm. And this is agreed upon in most of the flat earthers I've talked to because Witsit and Kiwi both agreed with this, right? And it was actually Witsit's idea that a true experiment would be taking water in a pan at sea level and seeing how it boils at what temperature. The dependent variable is the water and the independent variable is going to be the heat, right? However, the water is contained within a man-made object such as a pan. I, so I just don't agree with that. I didn't bring you that. Hold on. Wait, let me finish. Go on, let me finish. Go on, all right? Just because something's man-made doesn't remove its ability to demonstrate the scientific principle happening, right? What I'm saying is a natural observed phenomenon, the moon and the earth, right, in a orbit was then understood by using a man-made object, right? Performing an experiment. Every experiment required or most experiments require a man-made substance to either measure or test a naturally observed phenomenon. Yeah, but like I say, um, you know, if you've got that man-made device, we're looking for the effect. So all you've got to do is look at the cause, which is usually man in this case, because you wouldn't have these things happening in nature just randomly, right? You don't just have... Yes, Hang we on. do. Hang on. Can I yes, just we do. real quick? I just, I just need to interrupt yeah, real quick. Hang on. Why, have you, why have you muted Dross? He's got, he had a hot mic there. No, he didn't. Has he fixed it now? That's all, that's all. Has he fixed it? I've been sitting here listening. He didn't have a hot mic. Yeah, you weren't paying attention. You won't pay attention to those I, things I, like I, that because I, you're I, not I, a moderator. So you're looking for other things. Anytime I talk to but someone, there you go phone, again. I'm so again, phone. it sounds like he has a hot mic. There's a conversation unfair, going on, and he's just speaking for no good. He's speaking for no good reason other than to derail. That seems to be an issue. So look, we're talking about science here. Um, we're trying to establish that you cannot know something if man has created it, because we already know the answer. But in the natural and physical world, it's questionable. You know, lightning, rain, you know, snow. When we see these things outside, we want to know what's caused these things, right? And so, Camo, uh -huh. let's, let's do this, right? Okay. Let's, let's have a concession, and I'll either concede or you'll concede, and I really don't care either way, right? Okay. Here's what we're going to, here's our discuss, here's our fact, right? Either there is no such thing as science, right? Mm -hmm. Or that science does require man-made objects. Which one would you like it to be? Neither, because everything... No, no, there is neither, because there is no way to understand and measure, right? There's no way to measure anything without using something that's man-made. Not man -made. Even that talk or respond. I'm trying to say, we don't have to go with any of those things. All we have to do is look for the observed phenomena in nature and then try and find out the cause to it. That's it. If you can't, you right. can't. And how you do we do alone. that? But listen how to what I'm saying. If you can't, hold on. You see, if you can't find the cause, you don't guess. You just say, okay, I can't manipulate my independent variable. I leave it at that. Okay, so Kimo, give me an example of an observed phenomenon that we are trying to understand. Absolutely. So let's say we, uh, we're walking outside in nature. Yeah. And uh, we've got two bodies of water either side. So we're in the middle, we're on land, 
and we've got two bodies mm. of water left and right of us, either side of us, yeah? Yep. And we look to the left of us and we see uh, a leaf or a twig or an egg. We go with an egg. We see an egg uh, land in the water and it starts to sink. It starts to sink. And we, we walk, we say, oh, okay, that's fine. And then uh, we look and we see another egg on the right side and it starts to float. Okay, we haven't, in we haven't interjected any man-made influences here whatsoever. We were just walking and we saw things as they were. One was sinking, one was floating. And now we have a question. What's going on okay. here? What's going on here? It's, I thought uh, okay. eggs, eggs, or eggs would sink. Why didn't that egg uh, sink? Also, okay. okay. And then now we have to come up with a predicted cause of this. What do you hypothesize? Okay. Yes. Now, yeah. obviously, yeah. Do you want any questions? Do you want to reply or anything? Like no, that? no. So let's just say the next part, please. Yeah, uh, One, absolutely. So obviously I, I, now. I don't want this. Hold on. Does anyone else scared. want to say anything or anything? No. Okay. Good. So in this moment, um, we now hypothesize. Yes. Uh, yeah, what is ahead. the cause? Why is that egg either sinking or floating? Um, now, one might say, I would say probably that water there was more dense than the water. All right, Kima, so what are you going to do about this? Are you going to take eggs from the chicken coop and put them in water, right? No, no, no. I'm going to take... Now, uh, remember, we have an object that's doing one thing in one medium, and it's doing something else in a different medium. Right. So you're not going to try... You're, you're telling me naturally, you wouldn't be like, why is this happening? So you wouldn't get two more eggs and put one egg in the lake on your left and one egg on the lake on the right and try to observe the same thing again? You wouldn't do that? Um, If you want to do that, yeah, you can absolutely okay, do Okay, there you go. So what I'm saying is that the idea of science requires manipulation of the environment by man. No, no hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. See, you're going to put the egg in the water. Right. No, 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 no. The pursuit of knowledge requires man manipulation of the environment to understand no, you're not the doing any experiments yet. stop you're not jumping to experiments yet you don't put any eggs in any water you're your... just you're just talking very slowly and waiting for someone to give you an escape route just yeah. get to the fucking point that is the point so you're trying to go to hypo you're trying yeah. to go to experiment before hypothesis what are you doing Amo, you need to unmute sort because scott forgot to unmute him before he left so please take care of that Oh, I don't know what that was all about. So uh, probably less, probably best well, to wait till Mister Scott returns. Been, no, he's been muted for a good couple of hours now. I think. I think they have an agreement of some kind. Let them sort it out. Sort. I don't Mister Scott complaining at me when he returns. Chat. You know, I don't know what deal they had. Uh, so look, this this oh, egg I'm thing sure. here. Um, he's asking Spurs. He's asking to be unmuted. I, mean, when you unmuted, so, I didn't off, mute him. He, there was it there. wasn't me. When Mr. Scott returns, yeah, he will yeah, take care yeah, of it. Yeah, and we've also pointed out that Scott forgot to unmute him when he left. No, he didn't so forget. He didn't need to Scott didn't forget. There's a deal they have, and when that's resolved, he will be unmuted. I don't think there was. But... I'll go and well, go and ask Mr. Scott. Go and find out yourself. Go and speak to Mr. Scott. Yeah, go and speak to Mr. Scott. Go and ask Mr. Oh, okay, Scott. No, 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 it's all right. No, no, it's all right. So it's just said, don't worry about it. Sorry about that, Kimo. That was okay. No, he said, don't worry. So go and bad. speak to Mr. Rubbish. Scott about the uh, events. Yeah. The bats. Look, you're just derailing the so, science here. This is what you I guys apologize. do. Apologize. Right. So smooth here wants to know how to conduct science correctly, so we have an absolute answer. And um, so so far, so smooth. What what have you got? What do you know? Got one in Davros well, as well. Like I said, I'm I'm willing to concede either I'll way that Davos science does not exist, or that science needs to have the manipulation of the environment to understand cause and effect relationships. You only have to um, manipulate one thing. You're independent, right? So you're saying that the man. All right. What I'm trying to have you understand, Chemo, is that observation is part of the knowledge, right? That goes into science. Mm -hmm. However. To understand, you want to isolate in an, an event and try to cause that event to happen again. And when conducting science, you tend to measure things to quantify the observed event, right? And oh, let me make it easy that, for you. So look, by doing that, 
by doing that, you are using man-made objects and tools to perform science, right? You seem to think that because a satellite is made by man, it is unable to be used for science. Yet, even in your most basic example of an egg floating, you would still be manipulating the environment by taking eggs out of the coop, putting them in the lake to repeat the event, and recording these down with a pencil. Right? Listen, there's no this issue account. at this point. Listen, at this moment, you can. This is you have to manipulate your variables once you have your observed phenomenon. Now, once you have that. You're good to go. But if you're just going to go to hypothesis without an observed phenomena, you're not good to go. So we can now start... I have an observed phenomenon. What I is do. that observed phenomenon? I see the moons rotating around other planets. No, you don't. Yes, I do. I see moons rotating around other planets. I see we have a moon, right? I can then say, well, here, here's the observed phenomenon. No, again, you can't look, say you that. can't... Well, let me finish. Of... Kimo, let me finish. Because I'm going to put you in the fucking grass, right? Go on. If you look at another planet, such as Jupiter, you can see moons rotating around its surface, right? Mm -hmm. Then I can see that I have a moon. Mm -hmm. I want to know if my moon, if, if I have the same situation as another planet. Mm -hmm. So what do I do? That's my, my observed phenomenon. I hypothesize that. I say, you know what? If I see this, it must be the same for my, my land, my reality. Mm -hmm. So what do I do? Right. So in this case, I this is not... because so here's my hypothesis, right? Because other planets have a moon, Look, and because I have a moon, I believe that I am the same shape and have the same properties as another planet. I will test this by sending my man-made spacecraft in Earth mm -hmm. to see if it can mimic what I observe on another planet. All right, so let, let me correct you again, being as right, we are in science class. Okay, so when you're looking at moons going around what you presuppose as a planet, we'll let that slide for now. Again, what you're looking for then is your... So what's your phenomena? The moon going around the planet. So what caused the moon to go around the planet? That's what I'm trying to figure out. What okay, caused so, okay, the Okay, fine. Right. That's what I'm asking you. So now your hypothesis is what? What's the cause to this effect? I believe that monkey space juice is causing it to go around. Monkey space juice. Okay, so now yeah. you, what you need to do is manipulate monkey space juice. So remove it, add it, make it higher, lower, turn it on, off, whatever, and see if the orbit still happens. You see? Right. Did, you, did you do that? Did you manipulate your monkey space juice? So, so for example, look, if you look at rocket, if you look at rocket's picture here, so if we give this monkey a uh, rocket space juice, the monkey might fly. If we don't give it the juice, it doesn't fly. So we can say the cause of the monkey flying is the juice. Now you're saying the juice causes the the moons to orbit. How do we manipulate that? How do we test that? Okay, so how do you manipulate your egg example? Ah, so again, you wasn't. You didn't even let me finish. I was just. I was making sure you understood. Did you so, talk so slowly? Well, again, we have to be clear on what we're saying. So we've got egg on left, egg on right. One floats, one sinks. Predicted cause is the medium uh, density. If I suppose that the one on the right is more dense than the one on the left. Now I need to test this. So I take a medium, make it more dense, and hey presto, how? I get to see the how same are you result. Gonna, how are you going to measure if it's more dense? What do you mean how I'm going to measure? I'm only testing to see if it caused... No, right. How are caused, you going to make... This is where you're going wrong, Smooth. We're looking no, no, no. for my, the... My question to you is, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. How do you, you... You're saying that because the egg was the same, right? You're saying that the egg was the control and you're, while you're walking out of your house, the egg was control and that the lakes themselves were of different density, right? No, 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 no. no. What, what I'm saying, I didn't no, say any of that. I didn't say any of that. The medium, yes, you did. You I didn't say any of that. If you listen carefully. You did. You said the medium, i.e., the water, right? Yeah. Was of a different density, right? Than the other one, which is why we observed a discrepancy. No, no, no. I'm saying that my cause, my predicted cause, is density. That's what I predict is the cause of the egg not sinking. And why the okay, other egg is Okay, explain to me, sinking. how does that, how, how does density make the egg not sink? That's what we're going to find out, yeah. 
That's my predicted cause. That's what's happening. That's what I predict. I haven't tested it yet, but, but I predict. What's the cause? I don't understand the cause. Why the egg oh, is not going down? Why egg. doesn't the egg sink? It should be sinking like the egg on the left. Why isn't right, that happening? Right. Why isn't right, that happening? So, right. So I'm saying at this point, right, mm -hmm. you're saying that you don't know why the egg is sinking. So you want to test it. I want to know and why it's sinking in this, on the, left, on the left bank, or the left body of water, but in the right body of water, it's floating. What's going on? Right, right, right. Is it right. magic? So you're is saying magic? you're saying the word density, right? I'm asking you, be... is it magic? I could hypothesize magic. Right. It's monkey space juice. Right. So how yeah. are you gonna, how are you, how are you going to test monkey space juice? You tell me. I can't test it. I, I, I don't, it's not a use, variable that I observe. Whatever you use. It's not a variable that I observe. But use. in that water, after more research, I found out there's some salt in that water. Salt okay. How did right. you find out that there is salt there? Because you got to do research in the first stage. All right, all right. So what is? See, all right, Kima, what space. you're doing is bolstering. What are you talking about? All I did was dip my finger in the water, tasted it. Oh, that was salty. Dip my f finger in the other one. Oh, that's not salty. What's the problem? How do you know that means it's different? You're using. I don't know knowledge. that. That's my hypothesis. Hi. We're still predicting, Keep... I'm still thinking, I'm still doing research. I'm like, what's going on? So this water's, this egg is floating in this water. This one is not. So let me do some, a bit Can more. Let, 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 me, let me taste. Send me a picture? Let me dip the finger in. Oh yeah, that one's salty. Let me dip the finger in with the other hand. Oh yeah, that one's not salty. Ah, so I wonder, hmm. I wonder, let me, uh, let me go home and uh, into the lab. Let me get some salt. Let me see if I can replicate what I saw in nature. Let me get an egg. Put the egg in water. Hmm. Ah, so I'm controlling the independent variable where the egg is falling and rising. Yeah, I'm manipulating that. So we now know the cause to this effect. What more do you need? No, you don't. You don't understand the cause. Why? If I don't add the density, if I don't add the salt, it doesn't move. So, all right, so you, you have a lot of errors here. Mm -hmm. First of all, you believe that your experiment mm -hmm. is not able to be... First, you believe that your experiment is sound. It's not. Okay. Secondly, you believe that your experiment can't be applied to the satellite experiment, which it can be. Okay. And third, right, you're not telling me how density works. Okay. Right? Does your if I say gravity, you're gonna ask me how does gravity work? Right? All you're doing is manipulating. No, 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 no. Hold on, I haven't got that Wait, far. Let me fin I let me finish. Go on, then. All you're doing is manipulating the environment, mm -hmm. right? To observe the effect, right? But you don't know what density is or what buoyancy is mm. and how it's actually keeping the egg sinking or floating. Yep. You haven't told me how you found that yet. Okay. It's just you're spewing out the word density. Yeah. So I've come up with my predicted cause. So now you're, you see the same thing. Egg flow, egg, egg sink. What's your hypothesis? Hey, Kimo, what's on the inside of the egg? Do you, do you know all the components in there? Can you give us a quick rundown? I don't know, no. Oh, right, you don't know. Okay, well, on the inside of an egg, there's a few things, and there's also one of them is a little tiny sack of air. Did you know that there's a sack of air in an egg? What if, what if one egg is filled with lead? Oh, I'm from Australia. I'm Where'd you find South eggs Island, filled with lead in Good nature? Morning. Good morning, mate. Good morning. So, Smooth, look, what's your hypothesis? You see the same thing, one float, one sink. What's the cause? Why is one sinking and one floating? That there's a hole in the shell that water has entered and disrupted the equilibrium. A hole entered into the egg, yeah? Yeah, the egg cracked as it left the nest, water seeped in, causing it to be heavy, and it sank to the bottom. Okay, so what was the cause? The water made the egg heavy okay and what did it what yeah so it made the egg more more what i guess dense yeah would be a good word so how how like how so, do i so hold on density? so your hypothesis also comes to density interesting right yeah no problem chemo so let's look at the space so uh, if you're saying that if you fill the egg with less water it what, what will happen if you fill it with less water who knows? Will it go down or up? Who knows? It could float in the middle. 
of the of the medium, right? Maybe if I fill it just a little bit, it'll be at the top. Who knows, man? But you're it controlling on the it with water. You're controlling it with the water, yeah? The density. You're changing the density. And you're... I don't know what density is at this point. So what are you controlling exactly then? You're controlling the direction. You don't know what you're controlling. All right, so chemo, here's the issue, right? It's like having a control what? pad in your hand and saying, I don't know how I'm controlling the drone. I don't understand. All right, all right. so, all right, let's, let's, let's use the, so now the egg, all right, Lake A is Jupiter, right? What? Lake A is now Jupiter, right? I observe moons going around. I right? understand you. What is Jupiter? Lake A, oh, in Lake, your example. Lake A. Yeah, is now Jupiter, right, with its moons. Right? No. And I observe the moons going it's not a around. Comparison, no. What why not? Because how are you gonna manipulate your cause? I'm getting there. Okay. Right. So you observe something, yeah? What's the effect, yeah. sorry? Uh I now Lake B is Earth and its moon, right? Okay. And I see the moons rotating, right? I see the moon rotating over the surface of the Earth. I mean, the surface Is of it Jupiter. Is a reflection in the water? Sur the surface of Jupiter, right? And I mm -hmm. see the moon kind of doing strange things here. So I want to understand why these things are happening, right? Yeah. So I'm going to say that this is happening because there's a gravitational orbit, right? Okay. Now, how am I going to test this? Well... Just like with your egg example, you're going to go back to the lab and do some research, right? No. So what I'm going to, the lab to do is I'm going to observe Jupiter. No, no, observe I only go back Jupiter. to the lab to do an experiment. Outside, I'm doing more research. Okay, so outside, I'm going to look at some, uh, some patterns, right? I'm going to see other planets. I'm going to see Jupiter. I'm going to record all this stuff, right? Mm. Then I'm going to make my experiment. But I have a very big lab. Right, so I'm gonna take what uh, your version of an egg from the chicken hoop coop that you took to your lab is gonna be my satellite, right? You, you already manipulated nature by taking it away from the the chicken coop and bringing it into the lab, right? So I'm gonna manipulate nature by sending my hunk of space chunk into the sky, right? And then I'm gonna manipulate my space chunk to prove that the action can happen the same as Jupiter, right? I'm going to try to observe the same thing as Jupiter. And when I do, I can conclude that the space junk is doing the same thing as the moon, proving that gravitational orbits exist. Okay. This is not science, you know, by the way. So what yours? Okay, that's fine. You want? All right, let's make that agreement. Your experiment and my experiment are not science. No, no, my experiments is science. I was in control. You haven't done any of that. I, You're still I'm hypothesizing. I'm in control. No, I'm in control, buddy. No, this is an actual test that's been done. Right, right. but I'm in control as well. In theory, hypothetically, yes, you are in control. I get that. But in reality, you've never done this. No, we have. This is where RS steps in and says that he's put satellites into space. Satellite, again, you're presupposing your argument. You're affirming the consequences. No, this is a fallacy. I'm not. I'm, Kimo, I'm not. You haven't performed this egg test, right? I did it with a potato, There's yeah. Not... That's not an egg. You did it with a potato. Yeah, there was a potato float in a potato sink, and I was like, what's That's going on? That's not an egg. Anthony would be disappointed, Kimo. I mean, he said he got it right. That yeah, when egg. did... Well, All right, anyways. I mean, yeah, like, uh, you, how, we, how can you talk about the egg experiment when you're doing it with a potato? Talk buddy? about objects, I mean, aren't we? Objects for no, objects. No, 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 no. Talk no, we were specifically talking about an egg, not a potato. Specifically. You can do it with an egg or a potato. Remember, specifically, it was an egg that you brought up with the, with the experiment. You brought the whole thing up. Let's not forget that you said it was an egg. You never mentioned it was a potato until just now. It doesn't really matter what it is. Potato, it egg. It does doesn't matter, actually. <laughs> it does when you fucking lead off with, oh, I did an egg experiment and you're using a fucking potato. Like, how you, long have you been talking about this specifics matter earlier in the conversation. And you're only just now mentioning that it was a potato. Yeah, it can be an egg or a potato. That's not very matter. scientific of you. I hate to point that out. 
That's it's not very scientific of you to be it pulling shit like matter. that. It doesn't matter if it's an egg or it a potato. It does matter <laughs> actually because a potato doesn't have the layer of air on the inside of its shell like the egg does, and amongst the other, you know, the yolk and the other bits and pieces that are in there. Both things are in nature. Hey, moons are in nature. Rock Your in. idea of a moon. What is the moon? On oh, what, oh, what's up, Boris? Well, Rocky just said it. If I, Rocky just said this in chat. I was a, if I was a delusional glober, I would tackle smooth right now. Delusional. He likes sniping from the sidelines, but just doesn't want to actually yeah. engage. Dude, I I can destroy Rocky at any time. Yeah, I mean Rocky can come any time because oh, I, I want to go for lunch now as well. So, but this I, is the I potato. Just, I, 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 well, can you prove to me that Smurfs don't... You can have a potato, egg, or object. It doesn't matter what the object is. It's relative it density, actually, guys. Really okay, hold on, hold on. Matter. You're it saying really it doesn't matter. matter what the object is. Okay. No, it can be so then one of those... it doesn't matter um... if I use space junk. It doesn't matter if I use space junk, right? No, here's another one. Gotcha I'm going to use a heavy anvil, right? Which weighs loads versus... When um... did an anvil become part of nature? Metal in nature. We don't have metal in nature. Oh, but as an anvil, where yeah, where do you anvil find an anvil? Anvil's anvil man made. Yeah, sorry, you can't use that. No, also, no. Kim, the reason why we understood the, the anvil is, is man made. No, no, no. Again, I never, I've never seen a glass ma uh, like in the fields that wasn't man made. No, no. Mm -hmm. I'm saying that once you understand. Interesting. Once you understand but the chemo, principle, all right. See, you're on the ropes right now, right? You're trying to dodge everything, but every single you have yet to figure out that all the evidence you're giving for your claim requires. Talking two about things. objects, man any made, object, man -made, right? Man-made concepts, right? Hold on, chemo. Why right, don't yell on. over me? You're using man-made concepts, right? Like measurements, but right? Don't and you're using man -made now. Objects. I gave you an egg and a potato. I'm only using this anvil because, again, once you understand the principle of density, chemo, any object. Look at the, Look at the image you've shared with us. What is the potato floating in? Is it in water, yeah? Is it in a glass of water? Relative density is where you lose. We have the actual science when it comes to this. Oh, Jeremy, Jeremy, stop derailing. Jeremy, is, no, is, this potato float, is this potato floating in a glass of water? Uh, yeah, that's what you got to do in the laboratory, yeah. Okay, so is a glass man-made? Yes, you but have again, you, you're, okay, missing, on, you're missing on, the point on, here. On. You're missing Emo, the point. All the, you, no, you're missing the point. The only point that I was trying to make is to ha make a concession between the two of us. Either science allows for man to manipulate nature and use man-made objects, or science does not allow for man to manipulate nature or use man-made objects. Which in one would you let, like to Let choose? me help you a second the, then. So in order no, for no, you which to... Which one? Pick A or B. It's Here neither of minutes. those, because in order for Hold you to on. show it's orbits, you either. have to show orbits in the laboratory. Can you do that? Chemo, hold on. Hold on, Kimo. Kimo. Let, me, let me explain it to him. Yes, no, I can smooth. show an orbit in a laboratory. All right, show smooth. me then. That's it then. Let me see the orbit in the laboratory. All right. You can, use man -made... you can use man-made things for your experiment. That's the point. Yes, okay. Not so... for the... Our observed okay. phenomena is not in the experiment. It's not in the okay, man-made object. Hang on. I, I Emo, like perfect, perfect. That's not what okay. I've heard flat earthers rail at us before. You quite often say to us, you can't use things like a, a Cavendish experiment or a torsion bar or anything not found in nature. And that by nature, you mean things that are no, out in the jungle. you got it wrong. Try yes, to listen. No, try to listen. You cannot have your observed phenomena in the man-made object. You've got to see it in what? nature first and then try to replicate what you see. You can't build something and say, oh, look, here's an observed phenomenon in my device. So what? Where is that in right, nature? So, well, let's do this, right? So we're, you and I are just trying to focus on an agreement between one of two things, A or B. No escaping this time. Yeah. Science requires man to manipulate nature and use objects and concepts that were created by man such as measurements and tools or b science does not allow for man to manipulate nature or use man-made concepts none of such those as things tools. science or requires c, none or, of those things. or so or C, we, we're allowed to use man-made devices in the experiment but not in the natural observed phenomena step one that's yeah that's what i'm gonna say c yeah gave us 
Exactly right. He gave us a false dichotomy. He gave us. He tried to give us a false I'm not. dichotomy. Yeah, that's I'm a, saying a red herring. It's not a false dichotomy. That is a straw man, man because what we're saying is science is you have to have your observed phenomenon in nature, not in your device. I have my observed phenomenon of moons passing over planet surfaces. Okay, so now you need to get that cause and replicate it in the laboratory. Let's get a hypothesis. I am. Go on there. Let's see it there. Let's see you orbit something in the laboratory. I'm waiting. Let's have a look. You guys All right. It's called, a it's called NASA. It's called NASA in space. I ha just have a very big lab. Where is it? Sure. Let me see it. A lab? Your experiment. Lab? Your experiment. Let's have a look. I mean, I'd, I'd get a hypothesis. I've just posted first. two experiments, potatoes right. and eggs, oh, and you posted you nothing. Oh, Kimo, where's your laboratory? Let us see your laboratory. I've just posted two experiments in chat. I'm providing you everything, where's... right? Now, he's saying One that is... he can, um, he's observed, Kimo. he's observed orbits, okay? Now, he says he knows the core to these orbits. That's fine. No, I don't know the cause. What do you, well, that's it then, Jeremy. Now nah, explain to him why it's not science. <laughs> it's all, what's your hypothesis? I mean, if you don't have a cause, what are we doing here? All right. So what I said, again, the whole purpose of this current conversation is to make an agreement for future conversations whether or not man can manipulate nature and use man-made concepts and objects to build a scientific knowledge. How many you guys more cannot do seem to, to agree to that. To how many more times Jeremy. do you have to... Let me explain it one All last right, time. Alright, then yes. Just say yes. Okay. Say yes. Man, one last time. In the, we got two. In the natural observed phenomena, there's no man-made devices. Okay? In the experiment, we can have man-made devices. It's very simple. Oh, can you use man-made devices to make the observation? No. No, no. Not at all? Holy no, shit. We'll know the cause. We'll know the cause. There goes all microbiology. There goes... Well, there goes wow. the egg. You there, can't... there goes, there goes there, everything. Here's the funny thing: is What's if anyone, chemo, chemo, do you wow. wear glasses or contacts? What's wrong with the egg? On chemo, do you wear glasses or contacts? Yes or no? Oh yeah. Chemo, what's the, pro what's the problem with the egg? Chemo's uh, not here. What's the problem yeah, with the egg? No, I see his mic moving. Chemo, that's correct. Glasses that's or contacts? That's what we've been trying to tell you. That all of your so-called observations, everything that you have, is not science. It's based on assumptions. Wait, and Demo, you've not been able you, to manipulate you, your uh, independent variable. Therefore, you've just guessed your way through life. Come on, Kimo, do you yes. use glasses or contacts in your daily life? Glass? Glasses. Do you have corrective eyewear? Spectacles. Uh, no. Ah, interesting. So, are you saying that anyone he wouldn't admit it if he had them because he knows where he, he, he doesn't want he, he'll right. he it's right. not about me. You could you could tell yeah, that he, he has them. You can tell it was a lie. Right? So, Kimo, I'm going to dismiss every ounce of science you ever produce ever again because you use corrective eyewear, which is man made. And your friend Jeremy just said that we can't use man made objects for observation. So, your corrective eyewear has now. Um, he just told you he didn't wear glasses. Destroyed. Even if he didn't, it wouldn't matter. You could tell he was lying, Jeremy. Even if he did, that, wouldn't, that wouldn't matter. It, it does, because you're does. using a man made object for observation. I agree, Jeremy. you're right. You if you know. wear glasses, you're going to have problems trying to make these observations. Right. Yeah. So, Kimo, I'm sorry. All your science has now been debunked. <laughs> we don't wear glasses <laughs> smooth. <laughs> Anyone who wears glasses now can no, no longer observe. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't agree like with that, of course, because uh, the glasses yeah, obviously right. gives you. Uh, well, I'm not looking from. I'm not looking forward to the tears that chemists and biologists are going to uh, <laughs> shed when they hear they can no longer use any form of magnification in their work. No, that's Sorry. just being silly. But look, the idea is that uh, your phenomenon here, uh, smooth, cannot be in your device. It has to be in nature. Do you understand, Chemo, that trying to endorse that as a valid concept, anything you present on this, a man-made device, multiple man-made devices, is invalid? They are invalid, yeah. That's what we've been trying to tell you all this time, yeah. Well, catch up. Hello. Welcome to the real world. <laughs> Hello. Anything that say. you have said, that you have presented, That's is invalid. Natural. What's wrong with the egg? We've been trying to tell you this because remember, you're communicating well, on a man-made device. 
right the here. The egg thing. Came so up. what? That's not science. That's just uh, engineering technology. So what? The eggs floating in a glass, resting on a table that was made by man. Sorry. So we're in the what? experiment what? stage. What does that mean? The what is the meaning behind that? Sorry, we're in Jeremy. the experiment stage. In not cases, we can use man-made objects now. You guys are nuts. You're not catching up with it. You're not getting it, are you? God. You oh have to see so something. We can use things like man-made glasses, but we can't use man-made things like satellite. In the experiment, you can use any man-made object. Yeah, you righto. So how come we can't use observe... a little bit of a satellite? Okay, hang on. Well, shut up and let me finish. How come we can't use man-made satellites as, as a part of our experiment to observe? Because they're man-made and we can observe. see them. You get a telescope and you can, you can actually track them. Oh, not maybe, maybe not. Are you done? Uh, you keep pausing sorry, maybe for like not a long period. That you can see Jeremy, the don't attack the argument, not the person. It is a boner man made or finish. natural phenomenon? Hold on, Don. Uh, whoever said that, Cypher or Dravos, your, your natural observed phenomena can't be man made. Okay? All right. The moons over Jupiter are not man made. Yeah. Okay, no, you got it. You got a nice. natural observed phenomena. Let's go with the hypothesis. Yep. What's your hypothesis? That That's there's a, a gravitational pull with centrifugal force keeping the moons in their orbit. So gravity is the cause. Okay. Yeah. Well, we have to prove gravity first, though. So. Uh, okay, Jeremy, gravity. back what, are off we talking the ropes. about space time bending? Are we talking about space time bending? No, Jeremy, we're talking about simple concepts, and you're asking for details again, so that way you can claim that you don't understand them. Well, I mean, if you're invoking space-time bending, you're using something that we're not even sure if is even real. Your hypothesis you're has using, to be real. You're using the natural observation that objects fall to the Earth, um, and they do so in a consistent fashion. Um, okay, so what's and the... Then and then... We've noticed the relationship between the mass of the Earth and the acceleration. Then we have postulated that things with more mass will generate more acceleration. When we went to the moon, we observed the inverse of that. When we drop stuff, they fall slower. So that okay. seems to be consistent. So those are all natural man-made observations that we've made to support the hypothesis being put forward for the moon's orbiting. Okay, gravity, gravity is the cause of these orbits, you're saying? Yes or no? Yes. From the okay, now all we got to do, we got our dependent what? and independent variable. Well, hang on. Experiment. Hang on, hang on, hang on. You're getting a bit ahead of yourself. If you want to know what the cause of the orbits is in the first place, then I think you're going to have to go a little bit further back in time, you know, the Big Bang, and start from there and figure out, you know, as everything started expanding outwards. Well, I think know, all, was all, like that had, you know, all of that had an so effect on how, you know, things orbit and, you know, relate to each other in the universe today. Now. Yeah, so you're saying his hypothesis is wrong? All right. Jeremy, Jeremy no, why, are you, why no, are you doing this said, fucking... No, I never said that, Jeremy, at all. I said, just, if you want to get into that level of detail, you need to go back and start learning about how the Big Bang... You're just looking for the cause happened. of this effect. Now, wait a minute, so Jeremy, why do you play this stupid, retarded science game? You're not a fucking scientist. Why, why do you do this? Well, no, I have a this is the independent variable, dependent variable. What is it? Well, to to be team? honest, he's got you guys. He's got a guy saying he's got a hypothesis about the fucking planets and the moods, and then he's hypothesis. done. The guy's at a fucking fuck dead up, end press right now, and, and you guys fuck are up, beating press up on Jeremy. Mom. Fuck up, press mom. You got a guy talking oh, no. about a scientific fuck experiment up. from observation oh, only. Stupid, oh, no. uh, Chris, game. let him speak. No, dude, 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 we're not saying speak, nothing Chris. about science. Jeremy's talking about experiment yeah. now and correlation. Aye, he's talking about it, but he fucking doesn't know what he's talking about. Yeah, well, let him speak, Chris. Right, so the, thing, right. the thing I wanted to get out was the fact, rather than going back to the Big Bang, we don't need to go back there. All we need to go back is to the formation of the sun. I'm going to manipulate the variables here at a fucking dead end. Get excited. And, and the way we manipulate the variables, look at different what masses. Do you do this, Don? The way we can manipulate our variables is we can look at the different bodies in our solar system, the different masses that they have, and we can see if our observations maintain their consistency. Can we? Right. So, you, so know, you, you right. understand no, now, then? I, 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 I think you have more I'm, understanding I'm, now I'm on, on um, how to conduct... Apply it, though, foolish. Let's apply it now. Are conducting independent have, variables that's, that's and whatnot. That's where we yeah? get all mechanics from. That's going back to Kepler. Okay, even though I let you invoke gravity in your hypothesis, let's move on to the experiment. We've got our dependent and independent variables. We have the cause of the effect, the presumed cause of the effect. Let's see if that 
presumed causes the actual Take cause. your dependent independent variables and fucking ram them up, you fucking cunt. Well, I mean, that's so how you may treat you science. Do but... the way that I described how we can manipulate gravity from the example that I've just used? Do you understand how I've done that? Uh, no, say it again. Cool. So what we can do is we can, you know, basically we've we've created um, the obs we've we've had the observation that stuff falls towards the Earth. We create we postulated the idea that's related to the mass of the Earth. That's what Cavendish was about. Yeah, we've then applied that to postulation. We're already, we've already postulated something. Oh my God! If you let me finish, it's going to be really much quicker. Okay, go ahead. Um, where was it? Ugh, fucking hell! What's I'm sorry. Yeah, so, yeah, please stop this, Jeremy. I'm, I'm trying to get this out really quickly. So we've had the observation, stuff falls towards Earth. We've assessed, you know, we've, we've come up with a with a good explanation of that. that's due to the mass. We've tested that when we've gone to the moon. We know objects fall slower on the moon. Great. So we've got two natural observations, which is what I was trying to get out there. Yeah, we've then extrapolated that to the other bodies in our solar system. And what we've noticed is there's a relationship between the orbital properties and the mass of the object. There's so much you said in that that is that is just off the wall. I, I want to Jeremy, you don't even understand anything. Over. No, I understand that we're guessing at all the masses of these objects, <laughs> and we're using these orbits to tell us what the objects are, or to tell us what the mass is. But now it's like, no, we're also using the mass to show the correlation of the orbits. And you guys don't realize when you go in both directions at the same time, it could be flimsy as hell. So you you can make these observational I mean, variables. And, um, and and get your little you, patterns. You, you can get your patterns all you want, but you don't get correlation of Don, cause and effect past your fucking pattern. Don what's with the mood swing? Don why are you in What the hell? You he has the, the right, right to be angry. You guys are beating up what Jeremy mean? like crazy, dude. Like, you're going yeah, above and beyond guys, to talk about all, to all, all these groups of correlation when thing. it's like, you know you just have, op you're only varying Don, an observation. That's shut it. Shut up. Shut up. We don't want to hear you, okay? Just listen to me. Cool, my bad. Shut up. You're being a cunt and it shits people, all right? Schizophrenia is not a good thing. Do you hear you guys' attitude? Y'all hear y'all's attitude? Uh, boomer, don't uh, tell the guest to calm down. They all have a point to make. And um, Don's point is just as valid as yours, uh, Boomer, okay? But if he's saying that the uh, the science doesn't sound quite right, we're challenging just that very point. And what we're saying is that this version of science... I was trying to listen. I was trying to listen, and Don jumped in like a schizophrenic nut. So I jumped in too. Yeah, but you so guys are jumping all over, uh, all over uh, Jeremy, right? Alright. Guys, here's a little bit of something that seems to be missing here. When it comes down to it, man-made man objects are necessary for certain branches of science and certain subspecialties in science. It's one of those things where natural, we need natural science. We need see we need see we need computers and we need see we need predictive capabilities. We need the ability to to do this to say go through things like protein confirmation so that we can make biologicals so that we can observe the effects of different drugs. These things are necessary for the sciences in these fields to say that those are no longer invalid because we had to use a tool to understand the confirmation of the proteins that we're targeting is just flat lunacy. I'm not talking about chemistry. I'm talking about physics. Well, what's more natural than saying oh, looking Jeremy, at the DNA of a physics monkey? Physics and chemistry are the same thing. Yeah, uh, we're not talking about chemistry. Are, uh, we're, talk, we're not talking about biology. We're talking about wine. physics in the physical and natural chemistry world. Chemistry physics. So you're, talking about, you know, you're talking about physics, physics, physics and okay. chemistry are the no, 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 no. same thing. I'm going to get this out if it kills Fucking everybody idiot. else real quick. Chemistry and physics are both are both what Kim is chemo are they both physical natural sciences are they both physical sciences they're supposed to be yeah. is there is there rules for one that don't exist for the other yeah for one you have a uh, observed phenomena and the other you don't you ha only have hypothesis you would never just so hypothesize. Only, one, so only one of them has to conform to your experiment that would, to you, your so let's think method. about this then in the medical world if you just hypothesize i didn't and say did, the medical world if you did a if you did a chemistry in, uh, in the medical world and hypothesized and tested uh, just your hypothesis, you would kill people all over the place, right? You would have to see your observed phenomena first and then try to predict Why the cause. Nonsense. That's nonsense, isn't it, in no. the medical field? No, it's not. Absolutely you nonsense. can't always. That's Hang why. On. That's why. Hang in... on. Oh, we've just you made can't... a relevation. You can't. You can't always isolate variables or all... say that you've only got one independent variable that you're testing in. <clears throat> some sort of uh, organism, right? 
How how can you do that? You can no, do no, it. No, 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 no. So if, we don't we don't we don't do that. We make correlative studies, right? right. We 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 test something on ultimately once it's been tested on animals and what have you, on hundreds of or thousands of people and see what result we get. That's from my that, point. Right? That's my point. That's the point. Animal testing is no, them with a the hypothesis. Derails from the point that I was making. But was, let me, no, let me no, make my point. Can I respond to Jem? So All they right. get the well, animal. This is, this is y'all running away with my topic. So can I? This is they I get the animal. They have a hypo That's the point, Jem. So they it, they have a hypothesis, and that's why it's cruel to animals because they don't know what they're doing. They're just taking random drugs. They're saying this caused that, and I think this is what happens. So instead of testing it on the human, we're going to put it straight on an animal, and that's why, like I say, there's animal cruelty because of this this hypothesis. Well, thing. have you got any evidence that that is the process that they used? It's just taking random things and trying them to see what happens because um, i think that's complete and utter bollocks yeah, but let, so. let let brian follow up because uh, i have just to let you know recky did admit that we can use man-made objects for observations <laughs> so you already have some flatters agreeing with you no you can i was that was a joke a joke it's a joke it's About a joke glasses. that it's held on to very dearly but you've got I, glasses I would ask on. you though chemo and jeremy what is the point of science Science is what to is, uh, what is the goal? It's to gain knowledge, knowledge, information, and gather knowledge. Okay, good. I agree. So, is this process that you're using? Is this a process which allows you to gain knowledge based on the evidence that surrounds you, or is this a process that forces you to ignore evidence that surrounds you? This is natural science. This is based on the scientific method. This Can is, you answer this my is question strictly... before, you, before you just start ranting on your standard crap? Answer my question. Does this process lead you to a point of gaining knowledge about the natural world based on the evidence that you see around you? Or does this process force you to ignore the evidence that's around you? Mean the, you mean the scientific method, yeah? The one that the, you, the one that you're applying, not the scientific method, the fucked up quantum eraser version of science. You don't need uh, the scientific method for everything, though, do you? You only need it for natural observed <coughs> phenomena in is, nature. Is is that answering my question? I think so. Yeah. I don't think it is. My question is specifically about this process that you're using that you're deploying. Not about any other process. It's about this process and whether it leads you to a point of greater knowledge or it forces you to ignore evidence. It leads you to a point of greater knowledge. Greater knowledge, How? yeah. The evidence you're talking How about, because your evidence is not evidence. It's just assumptions. That's not evidence. I, I don't and see how it be, can. Jeff, does does it force you? Does it, saying it's not evidence. Does yeah, it yours, force you? Does it force you to ignore evidence from the natural world? Jem, no, 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 no. Evidence. Just... Oh, answer the question. I say yeah, no. Yeah, hold, hold on. It, it's telling that you're all so I desperate no. to not answer the no. question. It is. I say no. Yeah, back off. I'm answering it. Jem, your point's absolutely right. It's a great point. But I have to agree with Jeremy. Yes, it does help you. Uh, gain more knowledge because you understand the rigidity of the cause and effect relationship. Therefore, the knowledge that you think you're taking in is going to be a lot uh, st stronger foundation, right? It doesn't keep you our... from using the knowledge. You, you get these observations that you have, and then you don't throw it away. You can still understand the correlations that are implied on level one, but then this process that Jeremy's talking about will help you gain greater knowledge and go to level two. The thing with but our it methods. still forces you to ignore vast swathes of the natural world and the evidence that it presents. It just does, and you have to admit to that. Acting like a eraser, method. sure, but if you do it properly, I don't think so. How, how can you how can you make draw any conclusion about a, a, anything that you know anything celestial using this method? I think, like I said, you can make conclusions, just you need to understand that the, the, the rigidity or strength of the foundation of those conclusions. Okay, so how would you make a conclusion about, you know, a planetary orbit or something like Je that? 
just from us looking from the, from the surface of Earth, just from us looking out, well, we can never. You could. You, there's nothing you could do to draw right, so any, your false one hundred percent definitive. Right, right. So I, that's now evidence, it's, though. It's evidence of something happening in the natural world, right? You could, but you that becomes subjective to your quarry of does, do you gain? But would we agree or, like, it's evidence of something? Yeah, absolutely, happening absolutely. In the but right. and would we agree worked. that your method, your method is forcing you to a position where you just have to ignore it and See, say that, that's there's I nothing agree. I can that, know that's about? That's why I don't agree, Jim. I, I think that's okay. a so how do you know about? How do you know something about it then? You you, you know what you stuff. listen. Here's what I'm saying. Say say I say I accept that I know the same things that mainstream knows, right? But I still have this scientific experiment manipulate the variables thing in the back of my head i understand that there's more that i can know about it where if i don't have that in the back of my head i think i know it all already right and i would ignore the new evidence Why that might come that? if i so wanted now to you're do just manipulate borrowing, the variables you're just borrowing from other methods then and Possibly. saying well i've got I, these listen, other I, methods I as like a starting point, man, point. But it, it just becomes a little subjective i think if you do it properly i think that the more rigid you can get your testing is better for science but anyway I, I think it's very obvious that this, this method leads you to a path where you have to ignore evidence of, of the natural world as it's presented to you. I'm not saying it's evidence of anything specific, but you would, it has to be evidence of something if you're seeing stuff happening. And you are forced to a position where you have to ignore that. And that should bother you. Because your goal is to gain knowledge about the natural world. And you're That's following good. a process which forces you to ignore lots of See, I, I, lots of keep things. Saying ignore, right? Don, can I get a word in there, right? So we don't. No, oh, Jeremy, you can't. Because you're just going to ask for details you don't know what to do with. And you're just going to come back to the main point. Question all this evidence was, that... The question was basically, can man be part of science? And now you're trying to get into... The very subset of every little thing. I you guys are no question. What Jem said. Go oh. ahead, Jeremy. Let, Holy let, shit. Let, him, let him go, please. Uh, yeah, you're you're the the evidence you guys get from from the way you do it. It could be wrong. It's not definitive. When you go through the scientific method, you now have you now it's definitive after that point. Once it's repeatable. But, but you but. What you you're saying what is, <laughs> what you're saying is that we can make conclusions that could be wrong, and you're yeah. saying you're saying that that's worse than your position of not being able to make a conclusion at all. Yes, because it's not it's not when you're dealing with science, you don't want to, uh, you know, just start assuming shit that hasn't been. Well, we're not talking about sh solidified. assuming shit, are we? Well, this orbit thing that we were going through with smooth, where where the, there's so many assumptions in that, it's it's insane. But you can't know anything about it at all. You just have and to neither, ignore it and can, say that's that's beyond that, the scope is, is of, that not of, an exaggeration? of any knowledge. It, what, that seems like a straw man to say. He he's not saying you can't know anything about it. You, know, okay. you can get your patterns and your relationships and your observational predictions. It's fine. He's not yeah, denying that. Science I don't think, and right? sci your science says you can't do that. No. For see, you to say, you gotta, see, this is where I, 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 I jump now. in because I see where both sides are right, and then they want to they want to apply the 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 other side in a straw man so that they can think that they're wrong. You guys are both right. You know that Jeremy's thing is right, and he knows that your thing is right. What gets fucked up no, is when you want to be like, oh, the problem, our Don, observational thing is as solid as fucking manipulated experiment. You know it's not. So stop acting like it is. And you're, then you're saying. strawmanning him and saying, he's saying, oh, just because you have observations, you got to throw them away. You know he's not saying that. I, I, I think you're wrong. I think, I, think, I, think, I think you can draw conclusions from uh, yeah, observations. But not as good. Yeah, I don't can, think that's true. Good. I don't think that's true at well, all. Well, I got to dis. I'm going to disagree because, with you here to the high heavens on this one. Because, because you you're rarely in a position where you can isolate uh, uh, something on, down dude. to it. <laughs> but they can do. I finish? Can I finish? Can I finish? Do you know what I'm going to say? What was I going to talk? What was I going to isolate? You're rarely in the position. What was where you I going to isolate? isolate every variable because like that because you already like know what I'm going to say. You don't need to fucking hear it. So what was I going to isolate? I'm, you were going to isolate the variables. 
and you can't do it all the time, and I understand, but I'm saying it's, it's, right. a lo- it's dishonest to say that in the times when they can isolate all the variables and have stronger conclusion, that that's, at, that that's just the same as when uh, you're making observations. Uh, no, and it's, it's not. dishonest, it's yeah. dishonest to pretend that that is the only way to I draw agree. any... Exactly. That's why I'm here, the voice of reason in the middle. It's dishonest no, to pretend... It's dishonest to pretend. Sorry. It's dishonest to pretend that that's the only way to draw conclusions about the natural world, and anything that isn't that should just be treated as an assumption or making shit up, as uh, as Jeremy and and Kimo have put it. So, I I I, I don't. But when agree. you tested an experiment, that, it becomes like a law or a fact. It's a difference. Don, you're not the middle ground voice of reason. You're a glass of lukewarm water. Well, get excited. This is what I wanted. You got to project yourself. Nevertheless, okay? nevertheless, be what you want to be. Is not, where to that is, of, of who yeah. you want to be. Okay. That sort of experiment is just not applicable, not possible to to uh, conduct in many situations. And and you guys, when you're pushed, as you've said, oh, that's not the only way we can know things. Well, you, that's not what you guys are pretending. You guys are pretending this is the only way that we can know. No, they're it. not. And anything, well, that isn't, to... anything that isn't known via this method is, is secondary in some way. We don't and it is. It is secondary we in might some way. You need to respect about. that. But with this, experiment, it... with this experiment, we're absolutely correct. Yeah. Well, when it comes that's to tangible... That's, that's Hold on, Don. Is Don. Is Don. Don. When it comes to tangible things on Earth, Yes, there's other ways we can know things. We don't have to use a scientific method. When it comes to these non-tangible things that we can't get at, then what are you going to do? You just speculate. Jeremy, you can't. Well, because actually... where, where's that rule of non-tangibility come from? Well, and how have you just... determined? How have you determined that something that you aren't able to touch is non-tangible? I mean, that's what I mean. We'd have we have to go check these things out. You're just making assumptions Jeremy, and, and presuppositions. No, I I'm not. No, I'm not. You can actually I'm drawing a conclusion re- based on what yeah. I see. Yeah, yeah but, but you don't know you how. Remember good that uh, originally, Jim? We we the question was: Is there any science for the globe? You, We're not talking about. You don't know life. how good your conclusion is drawn from this experiment. You ca- you cannot know because the only way that you can know that is if you know everything. Unless you know everything, you cannot know that there isn't some variable that you don't know about that is affecting your result. Where are you disagreeing? This does, what are you this disagree does not with? lead you to a. This does not lead you to a point of proof. It does not lead you to a, a, a point of infallibility. It just well, doesn't. Right. Let's, 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 science, go, let's have some. What? Let's look at it then let's for have... a second. So again, you're going into all walks of life. This only uh, pertains to the globe so we look at your experiments and then you, what you called science we find out that this is not science wait there's no science on the flat model uh, flat i want to be like the globers you you got you guys aren't scientists you're just snow cones no no let, let, let's uh, i'll try to get his point out to jem trying to say that, that like mean? it's not about um everything in life it's just that the experiments that you say you have well I think you agree now. They're not science, right? Because all they are. I don't know it. No, I, I, I wholeheartedly disagree with that statement. I could not disagree with that statement more. No, but you're just, you've just said you don't have to know everything with this method. It's not, um, so it's not science, then, is it? That means it's not science. Hey, Chemo, no, how about we do no, what you do true. and just say, oh, Chemo said that the Earth is a globe. No, 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 hold on. Let Jem uh, answer. Yes, this, this why one. are you now trying to go back upon what you just said, Chemo? No, 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 no. I'm saying that if Jem is saying that everything is not science, that's fine. You see, that's the problem I right there. Is it you are putting false No, you see, you're saying that you don't need this method. Mouth, I don't know. get the point out. So you're saying that you don't need this method, yeah? No, you don't, you don't, you don't use this method you are, to know saying, things, yeah? You're um, saying that you, you use are a different form of He's not even You are straw manning me, and I'll tell you I'm why. I'm asking you a question. Because... I'm asking you. Are you saying... All right, but... I'm asking you, are you saying that... This method, this this method that we say is science, you're saying that that's not the only way to know things. We can know things in other ways, but then you, how are you labeling that science is what I'm asking. How is knowing something, just because I know your name, did I do that through the scientific method? No, I just know your name. 
you know, if I know, I, I don't think, I don't think there's any need to. I think that this idea of labelling things science is is again, it's quantum erasers idea. I don't think that's that that's necessary. Again, I, as I always say, I believe things because of the body of evidence that supports them. But it's not that science, could include, is it? That that could include what? some things that we consider to be science. Wait, when but it doesn't, said it, it doesn't have to. Yeah, but that's the and problem. The though. That, what, what I'm still talking, Don. And the things that the things that uh, are included that are science do not have to comply to this method. There are natural experiments. There are field studies. There are other ways of gaining information. Yeah, we can systematically, guess what we want. systematically studying the natural world and drawing conclusions from the evidence that we yeah. collect. Drawing conclusions, not testing and proving the conclusions. You're drawing them. You don't have any null hypotheses. That, I'd like to that's put not, as none many of that's null true. All of that is false. I can Everything you've just said is false. You can't really? test the conclusions. Really? That's why. Oh, that, so when Fi so when Feynman said it, he was wrong too. Feynman didn't the, say that you couldn't test conclusions using everything but quantum <clears throat> erasers method. Um, he didn't say that. You just made that up. Science without experiment is false. Yeah, yeah, I went and over and again, again, you can test the conclusions. Yes, you can. So you're just this calling Feynman bad. wrong. That's fine. Okay. No, again, I'm not calling Feynman wrong. Again, you can test the conclusions with an experiment. You can test the conclusions with an experiment. Right, so you have to have an experiment. Do you understand? Then? Yeah, so experiment is what you're designing. No, you're saying, no, right? not, keep hearing not an IBDV four-step experiment. No. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Absolutely. No, 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 not sure. No, I'm agreeing. I'll agree with you. I'll agree with you. No, I disagree. It doesn't have you to can't, be that type of experiment. Test That's fine. Your what did you say? You're going to test? Well, that, well, that didn't sound right. That didn't. That, right. How, how, how do you think a natural experiment is conducted? Well, damn sure ain't just observation and guess. You do have to manipulate something. So get excited. You're well, no, the environment manipulates something for you, but you aren't in. Well, you aren't that you isolating that, variables. That's, that's going to limit your conclusions. Okay, get excited. See if you don't. If you you your conclusions are yeah, always yeah. limited yeah. anyway. Your conclusions yeah. are limited. Jim, whatever Jim, method you if use. You can admit that if you were able to manipulate the environment, it would give you more info than if you couldn't. I'm. I mean, come on. It, you're going it man. doesn't you ultimately, yeah. ultimately, from a philosophical point of view, it does not lead you to a conclusion which you are any more sure of than okay. using some other method. Uh, if you want to throw philosophical in there, I, I, okay, sure. It is philosophy. It's about yeah. how we know stuff. Yeah, but see, this is, it feels like moving the goalpost to me, Jen. You know, no, just does. Like, if you go we back are, into the scientific are, world, I'm saying they would give. Listen, when you go into the scientific world, certain conclusions. experiments would give you a, a positive uh, confidence rate higher than if you couldn't manipulate things. Things that you can manipulate, your confidence rate is going to be higher. Period. Outside of the philosophical realm, it, it, we are talking about philosophy. It is a philosophical point. Okay. Well, it's about far. how. It's about how we know things. And I don't think that what you've just said is necessarily true. But what I would say is that you don't actually know the, the things that you're saying that you know because you haven't done science. You've, you've used your method. So because of that method that you used, you're not, you don't have any knowledge. You don't know, like not just you, but specifically, but the borders no, don't... But don't and, and, and now we see the, the, the switcheroo. Is this is what Don is claiming you are not saying what you've just said. You've said, if you haven't used this method, you don't know it. No, I didn't you say that. You can't know it. No, 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 no. I didn't that say that. That is specifically what you said. He's saying you're acting like you know it. No, which, that's not what I mean. Like that, you know no, it at a level that's not what I mean. What I'm what saying you know. is, what I'm saying is. Jimo, is this another joke that what, you're, you're playing? No, no, this is like deadly serious. Time. Is this a joke? This is deadly serious. So what I'm saying here is, is that the things you know about the globe, we're talking about the globe specifically. That the knowledge you've come to using your method, you don't know anything because you don't know what the shape of the earth is. We don't know where it is. We don't know where this, how far the sun is. Using your method is what I'm saying. So because of that, we're none the wiser. We don't know any more than before. We're still assuming well, yeah, that the sun does something. We're still assuming that the earth well, does I, something. I hope, I hope Don is listening to you because he said, and Jeremy has disagreed with you on this as well, and you've disagreed with you. You specifically said... There are other ways that we can know things. 
And now you're saying, if you don't use this method, you don't know it. That's Again, you're missing a direct point. contradiction of what you said at the start of no, this. I'm saying it's a direct the method... contradiction of what Jeremy said and what Don said. No, the method that we, you've used to come to this conclusion, not on anything else, just this, just this. So if you were like an investigator and you went this way, but you should have went that way, and you've come to a conclusion about who done it, well, you're not going to, you're, you're none the wiser who done it because you went that way. It doesn't mean you don't know anything about anything else. It just means when it comes to this path of finding out the shape of the earth, your method. But why is, but why, why, what's that special pleading? Why has knowing about the shape of the earth, why has that got a, some special uh, uh, because knowledge I'll method tell you attached right now. to it? I'll tell you right now. Because when it comes to tangible things on earth, Yes, we can know things. We can get every angle around them. We can view them from different points. We can touch them, interact with them. When it comes to the globe, though, you can't do you can't do that. You, there has no well, the sun, the, the moon. Yeah, this is no tangibility to it. Well, the, well, well clearly, we the, the Earth is tangible. Clearly, I I, I don't think we need yes, to but argue. All that. the things in the all the things in the sky that <clears> want to go to the sun, the stars. Well, there's no Jeremy. Well, Would there you... is there. Uh, you, how do you know that they're not tangible? How have you figured that out? Well, I think it just means whether you make claims about. I mean, the I know... he means I he know can't currently the... touch them. Is what I know he you means. believe in the moon landing. That doesn't so mean something isn't. I can't currently touch the handle on the door that, of the room that I'm in. But that doesn't mean that the handle is not tangible. Does I mean, it? It doesn't require it. science. It before. You're conflating the two, Gem. You're, you're conflating. Right, what I just... can't touch the handle of the door in the room next, the, of the house next door to me. But yeah, it but doesn't that... mean that the door handles that in that house are not tangible, does it? Yeah, but again, it's not in the That's natural. Silly. That's not natural and physical world, is it? I think door it handles. is. It's just uh, pretty uh, sure they're. I'm pretty sure door handles are in the physical natural world. Um, well, unless we have a natural door somewhere with a natural door handle. Okay, Timo, the, the problem is that you keep obfuscating <clears throat> the root cause of our argument, which is you have to agree if man can be part of the experiment and if man-made objects and tools and concepts can help us understand the world around us. <clears throat> you seem to want to restrict it to only one part. However, examples can be provided to show you that that is not the case. Okay, you seem to You're be right. hung up on this uh, man-made thing. We, Again, let, let's well, try. I, And we have drifted from the main point. My main point was that this route that you are following can uh, leads you to a, a path of greater ignorance rather than greater knowledge. It depends what the question is. That's the point. Hey, Kimo, here's, I will well, delete the question to of a Of course yes it does. No. It depends what the question That's the right. point of a phenomenon. It's questionable. Kimo, Most things in life here's... are not questionable, are they? It's just obvious. Here's the question for you, right? And I'll dilute it to a yes or no, right? Can man, right, use objects, concepts, and exp can man use ideas and tools to observe and test the world around them? Yes or no? You can't, no, not ideas, no. Not to observe the world, no. That's the first thing you said, okay. ideas, no. You cannot use ideas okay. to observe can, the world. Can, can we use man-made objects, right, mm. to observe and test the world around us? Not yes to or no? test, to observe, like you said. The first thing you said was to observe. So yes, you can observe with man-made objects. Okay, so then let's let's. You said no. We cannot use man-made objects to test anything. Not correct? to test. Not to test your phenomenon. Okay. Not on, your phenomenon. Emo, emo, emo. So you're saying that there is no such thing as an experiment. There is no such thing as science because when we wish to perform an experiment, we try to isolate, right? As you said in the laboratory, right, which is a man-made area with man-made objects, mm -hmm. right, to test the cause and effect relationship of what now you're now you're saying oh this is the concept this is conceptual speak right now right i'm just saying we have to make an agreement whether or not man-made tools can be used for observation and testing of the environment around us yeah sure you can yeah. it's yeah. not okay perfect so man-made tools can now you are now agreeing that man-made tools can be used for observation yes 
To observe things, yeah, sure, why not? Okay, and now you're saying that man-made objects can be used to test things, yes? Test things? Oh, that's how you're going to perform yeah, you any need, experiment. For the experiment, yeah. you would that's need man-made gonna... tools, yeah, obviously. Okay, perfect, all right. Now, we've made a huge leap in your, your conversation from earlier, right? I don't see how. It's been the same. The observed phenomenon... Oh, no, it hasn't. The observed no, no, phenomenon no. cannot now... be in your man-made device. All right. But now you agree that we can use telescopes to observe planets, right? Sure. Okay, perfect. That's a huge leap. You didn't have that when we were talking earlier. Yeah, I did. I said, but again, your phenomenon cannot be in your tool. Your like phenomenon. Okay, telescope, so then, if you're all right, chemo, if, so chemo, for example, here's the issue. If, for example, let's say you look at a planet, and we look at it, and it's white, whatever. We look for the telescope, and it's now blue. Okay, so we know why now this planet is blue. Yeah, because uh, you look for your telescope. That's as far as that would go. But if you look for your telescope and say, well, it's moving, well, we know your telescope didn't cause the planet to move or the moon to move, right? Sorry. We understand, we get that, yeah? The, the telescope did, had nothing to do with the movement or whatever we saw happening. Yeah, I agree. Agreed. So now, you're, when you look at your observation, you want to be able to test what you think is causing what you see. That's all you're trying to do. Right. You look at something, you say, what's going on? How did that happen? Oh, I think it's this. Right. Let me test it. All right. So when we sent the Cassini probes, right? Those were the ones that went to Jupiter? Yeah. So when you sent another device to take a closer look, you were still in the observation stage. No. no. So we're, what we did is we took some probes, right? Mm -hmm. We tried to replicate the moon with a man-made object. Using the telescope to still observe, right? And we watched right, as this probe mimicked what the moon was doing. And we had sensors on this probe to help tell us what the probe was experiencing. Okay. All right. This is still not science because you haven't told me what the, what the cause is to, your, uh, to the movement. Yeah, well, what we figured out is that... Um, what we, what we figured out was that the gravitational pull as well as the centrifugal force has kept something in orbit. So and that's it, why it was gravity was the cause, yeah, of them going around the... Around a, the a, a relationship, a force balance. Okay, so how are we going to test this now to make sure it is that? That's, that's what we did. If the observations aren't consistent, then we falsified our hypothesis and that's what we do in science we have a presumed cause and a known falsification those are the two criteria all right let's go through this again smooth what did you observe what were you looking at i observed moons going around us so uh, him right there. how is it falsifiable hit him right there it's so just derailing it's just boring. derailing stick to the topic so you saw something moving around another object now did somebody mm. kick kick the planet to kickstart it did somebody roll it throw it did a, a flying elephant with wings headbutt it what caused that matter. object to move well that's what i'm asking what caused that to go around the other well, object? it doesn't matter it doesn't matter because that's like saying earlier with your egg experiment what caused water right? what caused water right. that's that's the equivalent of what you're saying earlier when you gave us the well, example what's the effect of, of water I know. You're asking what caused the planet to spin. That doesn't matter. No, no, I'm asking what caused this rotation. Why is it going around the other one? How's it doing that? You just asked me, what, did someone kick the planet? I said, that doesn't matter. No, no I'm talking about the orbit. What yeah, caused okay. this orbit? Did someone boot the, kick the one object around the other object? All right, that's not what I'm testing. That's well, not where... What, what are you testing, testing that cost. idea? We know that's not what you're testing because we know you're not doing real science with this. But what is the test then? What are you, what are you observing? What do you observe? Do you something I that observe, you don't observe? Right. I observe a moon orbiting a surface, and I'm trying to mimic that with a man-made object, right? And I'm going to put sensors on there, measurement tools, 
to understand what that probe is going to experience. Yeah, but that's right? not hard to mimic. Just get Hollywood and they'll show you an orbit. Okay, hold on, Kimo. Let's stay out of that realm. No, but to mimic something, it's not difficult to, to copy what we can see. We want to know why. How does no, that I, we actually did this, Kimo. We actually sent a probe out there. To take a closer look. Yes. They sent the probe, Kimo, to the second law of thermodynamics violation. Yeah, before we even get there. But let's say they send, send something there, and then it mm -hmm. took a closer look. It doesn't mm -hmm. tell us why it's going around the other object. Yeah, so that's why I said we put put some sensors on there, right? Such a, and RS could probably tell us more about those sensors, but I'll try. Um, we put stuff like accelerometers and barometers to understand different atmospheric pressures and different uh, rates of speed, right? And what it's helping us to understand is that once we entered a force equilibrium, we didn't need a constant increase in acceleration to stay at the current height above the planet's surface, right? What we discovered is that we're being pulled down and slung around, right, which is causing the orbit. And we understood that the slinging around is a centrifugal force, which we can demonstrate with a key on a lanyard. And then the other part was the gravitational pull that was pulling us towards the center. Because if we were to disrupt the orbit, which we did, right, the probe would be pulled into the surface of the Earth, of the planet, which it was. What knowledge have we gained with all of this? That orbits consist of a force balance between centrifugal force, right, or angular momentum, and gravitational pull. And you got all this by sending something to the region and collecting data. Observing what, yeah, observing what happened to it, yeah. Okay, so what? This is not science, this is not observation. Oh, this is, by your definition, it is science. I observed a natural phenomenon, and then I went to the laboratory, and I created it an action. And through many different inputs, I was able... The spacecraft was a dependent variable, right? And the independent variable was the thrust. And I learned that when I set the thrust to zero, right, in a certain place, the object would not uh, deviate from the current altitude above the planet's surface, right? All right. And that's how I... Hold on, hold on a second. We got major issues before you go on with more major issues you're about to make. You said the you said the spacecraft was your dependent variable? Yeah. That's the effect. Oh. The spacecraft is um the dependent variable is your is the effect. Why so play this silly game with them? It's just pointless. I don't know, man. Right, because, be point, I mean, actually... because he's he's not getting it. What we're trying to find out is what he's, what knowledge has he gained, and he's saying that he's followed the method when he has, he's completely missed it. But you've said you specifically said at the st when I asked my question that there are other ways that we can know things. Yeah, they're not through science, right? Right. So why do you need to take him through what is independent variable and stuff like that? Is then why is that required, and why are you saying that if he hasn't got that, he doesn't know it? He doesn't it's know it's absolute his... contradiction to what you previously said. No, no, it would be a guess, his best guess. <laughs> That's all. It's not so. He doesn't know. So it, it wouldn't it's... be knowledge. Would it be knowledge? No. It's his get. How's guess? So, there are... so the only way we can know things is via this method. But that's what you say to us all the time. It's our best guess. It's the best information no. we have so far. No, no, and we never ever say that. Uh, again, yeah. are you arguing that the only way we can know things is via this method, in total contradiction to what you said previously? Yo, Veach literally always say, it says... What Don't it save him, Jeremy. Is. Are you arguing, Chemo, that the only way we can know things is via this method? Scientifically. Scientifically. Uh, uh, there's no scientifically. We're just talking about whether we can know something. Or not. Yeah, I know my wife loves me, but it's not through science. <clears throat> Can we know things about the natural world? Without sight, we can measure it, yeah. There you go, then. What's the problem? Why do you need all this shit? Because he didn't measure it. He used them scientifically. He's talking methods. about ways of measuring things, right? 
Yeah, but he didn't. He didn't. Make well, you're it. trying to make it. You're trying to make it that he needs independent variables, and he needs the spacecraft to be a independent variable, and and it's just a silly word game. And your you office should realize it's a point. it's a silly, ridiculous word game that doesn't get you anything. Right. It right. gets I'm, you. I'm... It gets you to a position where you can pretend that spacecraft are of no use to us. That's a right. way. It's... That's a way of ignoring evidence from the natural it's... world that we've gathered it, from it's... the natural world, and that, and that takes me back to my initial point. This is a this is a route to ignorance, not knowledge, and that's the opposite. Of what you claim you're trying to achieve. No, again, complaining, and, and it's, measuring. It's them, like hold on, one second, Kimo. It's them trying to play Quantum Razor's game of uh, give me your hypo hypothesis, give me your independent, dependent variables. It's meaningless. It is meaningless right. to them. It's a word it's game. I just, to us. I just want it's to state pointless. for the record that. Hold on, I just want to state for the record. Yesterday, uh, I was, you know, as we were talking, and yeah, said, you know, just like I never some... said anything, Jeremy. I said there might be some people in the YouTube chat that want to, the YouTube stream that are listening that might want to hear this. Chris said, fuck the YouTube stream. Verbatim. Who cares? <laughs> All right, Jeremy, focus I'm on the goddamn point. Know. I'm just letting Jem know. Relax. All right, well, message him. Stop, <laughs> Jeremy. I oh, I said, fuck the YouTube stream. I was talking about the people watching. Okay, let's, let's focus someone was on complaining. Who gives a focus fuck? On. Well, it's not. It's nothing against Jeremy. Jesus Christ. Don't be a dickhead. Yeah, Jeremy, what you actually did yeah, is a little fucking snitching the well. I know, I know. That was creepy. That was Jeremy. All right, let's go back to... Let's go back yeah, to... Yeah, so let's look at your right. problem here, your issue. One of the greatest issues you have is that um, you're not... You're no. saying it's science. It's not science. You're using a different okay, way... how is it not science? Let's hold do that. On, how hold on, hold on. So you, 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 you're using a different way to gather knowledge, Wait. which is fine. You're using the measurements... Um, and measurements will tell you stuff. This has nothing to do with science, right? We can know how tall you are, you know how wide something is, the breadth and the width. Oh, Kimo, tell me how it's not science. Don't tell me what it can and cannot be. Tell me, refute my main central point that science can oh use man made objects. Oh my god, didn't we just go over why this is useless? But the reason why this is not science um, is because. Smooth, you're. You're you're playing into his game. You realize that well, all of this is based on what the definition of the scientific method is, and whether it's like. And the key word that he likes slipping in there is natural observed phenomena. Go look up the scientific method and observe phenomena. You might see natural slipped in there in like one out of ten definitions. Like they like sticking that word "natural" in the middle of that just to try to fuck things up. I can tell you, it's, it's a waste. Shit like, falls I, under I respect. Science. I like listening They're to conversations, but a lot of this is just a waste of time because right. it's a function of changing the base definitions and then trying to make a conclusion off of that. Do, do you know why they do that though, Rocket? Um, it's because Dell and and Kimo fucking likes to to now use it. Dell used to talk about the natural sciences, right? Uh, fucking. And right. Jem, yeah, you would cool. you would know. Uh, yeah, he did. Yeah. Like math is a what? What, what does he call math? Concept, a, something like that. Yeah. So this is about natural science, right? Like it's just the way to obfuscate things you scallop. Can... That's all that it is. Yeah, yeah I get it's how it's exactly. frustrating. Well, and you're then... not scientists. You're not scientists. You're not doing any real experiments. Uh, it yeah, must be what, so frustrating what's, what's for actual real though? scientists here. Yeah, but what's right, intriguing? Hold on. Hold on. Don't Actual go. real scientists here who have put in the work and got a, a got an education and and work in the scientific field. I, I, I it was real scientists with no cones. As far as I know, there are only two realms that that you have which science talks about, which is the natural world and the supernatural. The natural world is what science can be applied exactly, to, Thank and you. the supernatural is something that science cannot be applied to. That is how it is. Yeah. Defined. That goes back to Francis Bacon, Voltaire, etc. Tell him, Josh. Tell him. So, look, Smooth, are we clear now that... Um... Oh, fucking, why do you keep trying to drag him back <laughs> into the conversation, Kimo? Because he's playing your game. No, he's interested in the conversation, Chris. Okay, and he wants so, to know Smooth, the point science. is, Chris, to you, don't fall for this bullshit that Kimo does. So he's he changing wants... big... Him and Kiwi and his ilk are changing base definition to suit their purpose. I know, and what I'm trying to do is say to conceptual ideas, if man can be part of the science, you know, the achievement 
of no uh, the the pursuit of knowledge and the uh, progression of science. I can't get a yes or no answer. That, right? So that I get no, that. Because, but by even asking that, that, that question, understand. in like some said, way you're accepting his definition. You do the right. first step that, correctly. There. That's the thing. It 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 is. It's like a concession, in my view, that they're right on this. That this method is 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 valid and is 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 sacred. And I just don't think that that's true. I just it just isn't true. Uh, well, I'm prepared to look at alternatives. And so far, we've heard from Smooth that he's uh, just guessed about what's up there and how it works. He doesn't know for sure. And well, that... he told you about measurements that he'd made. He was, but not or, direct or measurements, are they? Hypothetically not... made. They're not direct. Well, but yeah, if he was how to are make... They not... direct... What's direct? What does that mean? What's that new qualification that you've added? Well, you know, like that we... Well, we can guesstimate how far something is. Uh, that would be what indirect. does direct mean in this context? Directly measuring it from A to B. You mean with a tape measure? With a tool, a device. Uh, Lasers, we, anything, we talking... some kind, something. Like a probe. He was talking about accelerometers, wasn't he? Accelerometer. So, um, again, I so think would that... That, that would be a direct measurement then, wouldn't it? Isn't that based off gravity? I'm not sure. Well, you also have the radio signals going back and forth between the sure. satellite and the Earth base station, which gives, you, like which gives you a distance. I'm in the middle of a sentence, Kim. I don't know why you're ever talking to me again. Um, which that gives you the anything. distance to the probe. Thanks again for doing that while I'm making a point. Which The fact that you can actually measure the time it takes for the signal to be sent to the signal to be received means we know how far it is from that as well. So we've got multiple things telling us how far this is away. You show me a direct measurement that is an actual exact measurement of something, and I will be amazed. So, Smooth, look, let's not conflate science and measurements, right? Yeah, you may have taken a measurement <laughs> of some kind, but when it comes to science, you cannot put this uh, in the bracket of science because you haven't followed the method to know for sure, to know, not to guess, to know sure that your effect is um, caused by the cause that you've predicted. I just want to get one more question out which she's going to ignore, which is why when we talk about the independent variable in science, why is it called the presumed cause and not the actual cause, Kimo? The rocket, you were saying something? Yeah, I was just going to say, I refuse to ex accept you as the arbiter of the scientific method. Or QE, right. your buddy, who's done fuck all in the, sci in, in the field well, of science. that could be your biggest downfall. Claim to know what the scientific that method That could be your is. biggest downfall, because, you know, we are educating masses. Um, no, you're not. No, you are actually using no, the math. I'll address your question. Mean, no, you're, you're, you're muddying the waters. You just you're, ignored um, the question then, came Why didn't you answer the question? Why you ignored him? Was really rude. That shows you was a very pathetic person. Chris is derailing. Why don't you ask? That's all. He's derailing. That's all. I can answer Chris's question if you'd like. You're trying to get people. Uh, uh, your goal is to get people to join you in not knowing stuff. Not quite. We want them uh, to I, know I think things. that's a pretty crappy goal. No, Sorry, you would know things. You would know things using this method for sure. You wouldn't just guess. Dr is that me, Nathan Thompson? Who? Sorry, Jeremy, what was that? Just in the hypothesis, it's called the presumed cause, right? Mm. Then we do our then we do our experiment and now we either don't have a cause or we do have the cause. V cause. No, not, we, it's not we, presumed we always that. we always the, the presumed cause will be the presumed cause until it is falsified. If it's it falsified, also, then it's it not the be cause. A then it's, presumed cause. Yeah, but it, no. it it is never the cause. There is never anything that is definitive when you're talking yeah. about a hypothesis or a theory in science. It after your always, experiment, it's after always. You... I just want to finish my point. It's Go always ahead. a tentative conclusion. Exactly. Okay, after the after the hype after the hypothesis, before the during the hypothesis, you're just guessing like I don't know, maybe this is the cause. Then you do your experiment and you. And afterwards, you've, you've now proven, oh, this is the cause. Look, I've proved it right here by manipulating it with my independent no, variables. My independent... everything I've just said. How have you eliminated all the variables, Jeremy? 
you have your independent variable that you that you've now manipulated systematically to, to verify that look this is the cause how do you know happen. how do you know there isn't another variable that you haven't accounted for because you don't observe is, it you can just make that one is up affecting, you can't just make that is one up in your that is affecting your result but that's the point just, what, which well, one where well, where is it you better give Jim Panda this fucking cowbell yeah. right here don't fuck so, around with this point you don't so, know that there isn't one yeah but where just, yeah, but, just, hold on Edrus just hold on stop interrupting Jim and my conversation here I'm gonna get to a point here and every time you're just interrupting it so, because I won't finish the for goodness sakes, in, in, in Edrus, what I'm doing. so on, Jeremy, please. this I'll is what you ball you. earthers like to say. There could be a, a variable that you haven't accounted for, and we're saying, well... Yeah, because you're claiming that there absolutely, definitely isn't one. Well, if there is, is... implicit. That is implicit in the statement that, you, that you've proven something to be true. Well, That well, means there cannot possibly be another variable affecting this that you don't currently know if about. If there is and another that, variable, and, and that, if there is another variable, that should be part of your hypothesis, okay? There's no good later on after... You don't know about it. You have no knowledge well, of this hold, variable. I get, that's part of the hypothesis. That's part of the research. So you research, you gather as much information as you can, then you come up with a prediction As you course. can, yeah, as you can. Well, However, there are limitations to what information you can gather. Well, then don't and hypothesize. this variable... This hypothetical variable falls outside of what you have been able to gather. You have no knowledge of its existence. Well, and yet again, you're claiming, again, you're claiming that you can know for certain that it doesn't exist because that must be true if you've proven something. Well, look, again, you could say ether, like what Lemon might introduce, but how on earth, even if it is ether, how are you going to test that? If it can't be tested, so therefore well, you well, have that to, has been tested. Well, you have to go <laughs> with the variables. Times. All of that comes in your hypothesis. What you're saying. Then, when you have an experiment, you conduct it. You manipulate your independent variable. You find out what the cause, the effect, and then you move on. If you say, for example, well, no, there's something else. Well, then prove, like, prove it. Show that there was. You can't just leave a person saying, no, "Well, look, there could I'm be. There not could saying be." No, 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 no. You don't get to switch the burden of proof there. I'm not saying there is something else. You are saying there cannot be anything else. No, that's not in my hypothesis. I've, I've shown you what's all the variables that it's we see. It's in the statement that you've proven something. Anyway, look, we've got Nathan here. Thompson. No, not anyway, look. It's in the statement that you've proven something. Well, he something, can maybe help it? if he understands the, uh, the you, scientific method. You are, you are also claiming that there cannot be any other variable affecting this. I'll try to stay because calm, Because you've Jim, proven it. Please stay calm. But look, um, Nathan, are you here? Is your mic working? Yes, yeah, so science doesn't prove things, Jim Panda? So the point that I That's want to correct. make... Oh, if, if I make, okay. Just so before this no gets into um, in a long introduction... Emo. That's no, look, correct. No, but look, Proof let's say uh, Nathan. What, deniers. Look, Nathan. He's got. Uh, we've got Smooth here. Yeah, he's, he's trying to figure out. Though. Goodness, we're trying to figure out. Um, smooth. Tell us your your method. What you did. I with... would like to make one point very quickly before Kimo tries to redirect the conversation. So I just want to really just crystallise <laughs> Gem's point here, which is goodness very sakes. very simple. Which is there's the knowledge falls into two sets. The set of shit that we know and the set of shit that we don't know. One of the things that we realized in science is when we have an answer to something, great. You know, some of that's in the set of shit we know, but we always have to consider the possibility that the actual answer is in the set of shit that we don't know. That's the well, point. I, that's uh, why it's a tentative con conclusion. Well, that was let's, see if, uh, let's see a theory that's went through the scientific method systematically and been repeated over and over that has been overturned. That's went through the scientific method no we're gonna try and get a conversation on so look nathan we've got right. smooth here he's he's kind of brand new to this he says um he's got a rocket he sent a probe to space he thinks this is science about an orbiting uh body around another another planet um smooth you want to go through it again so we can get a conversation on go for your go through what your science is kim i think that you're misrepresenting that's why i say you say it you say it and tell us what it is yeah. Oh, to Nathan. Yeah. So earlier, um, Kimo was giving me an example of what he considered to be science because he claimed that man cannot be part of science or can man-made objects be part of science. So for the past two hours, we've been discussing that man can 
manipulate and measure observed phenomenon using tools, and that the Juno probes were just another version of this. Uh, Juno probes. You have Juno probes? Are you going to be a child about this? No, I'm serious. Is oh, it, yes, of is course. Is something like is. you've <laughs> verified and tested, or you just like got handed down the data and believe your religious scripture? Oh, I mean, if we're going off the conversation Kimo and I had, Kimo didn't perform his tests either. He, just, what, what, okay. he, received, he retrieved the data from YouTube. I am what, retrieving what the test? data what from What test are you talking review. about? What test are you talking about? Some egg tests. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Can the egg test be duplicated? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Cool. Can you do your Juno rocket? Yeah, Maybe it could be. Or it could be repeated. Yeah. Oh, okay. Can you do it today or tomorrow for me? No, but that doesn't mean that it's no, not possible. No, you fucking can't. Hey. Experiment on them today or tomorrow. Nobody That's, wants uh, good thinking. I'd, I'd like good thinking, say, Nathan. Yeah, I'd like to my That's definitely part of the scientific method. You no, have to be able no to do it today or tomorrow. One got triggered. <laughs> Chemo. Yes. What's your Because you said Seven something minutes. moronic, you can moron. I, do you think I have the tools available to do your egg test today? Yeah, I mean, this can be done anywhere, anywhere, any place. Yeah. Excellent. Can you get so the burger to me in 30 minutes? Got to be done today. That's part Definitely of the scientific method now. <laughs> well, <laughs> right, oh, Nathan, or Natalie, as you're being called in the chat. It, I have never once heard that timing of being able to do it tomorrow is necessary for the retrieval of data. It's not real right. science. You okay. Smooth, you'll never oh, be able to. Na you'll never Nathan, be able to repeat are, it. Though. Nathan, are you? Are you? Nathan, let you me finish. You don't observe. Let me finish, you know Nathan. Rockets. Nathan, let me finish. Oh my God, are you saying that winter? If we, if, if there's any experiments in winter, they can never be true science because it can't be done in summer. No, Is that what you're saying? Said that smooth. I oh, said, you said you just said, said that because I can't do. You just do said no that rocket. because you're I cannot talking, do. So the how do you know what I said? If you talked I'm, the whole time, we you're all heard you. Understand what I said? So we all you heard you. Stop repeating. Oh, man. Yeah, you know what his smooth. fucking point is, and that got nothing to do with the fucking day or time you can fucking do the shit. That was his main it's point. You shit brain. Don't be an idiot. <laughs> it is repeatable. It is yeah, repeatable. He's an idiot. It is observed in nature. You're parroting bullshit. Go do I'm it. I'm not. Then. then go fucking do it, faggot. Shut your fucking big mouth and go do it. Why is you're, so you're going to attack me instead of my central and point? It is repeatable. It is repeatable. No, but I've been fucking like done that. it. And I can't fucking like do it. You sound like a fucking clown. Triggered as Shut fuck. Up. Well, if you're being what abusive, you can't answer angry. simple questions. Don't have this, a conversation. This kid is so angry, man. This kid is angry. He needs to go back yeah. to jail. Listen, I'm going to post a picture on how you argue. What the fuck is wrong with you, Smooth? Why are you talk over people all the time? No shit. You don't have right. a conversation. I was, a question. I was asked a question, Curve, and I was responding to it. Smooth, if it's not in nature, it's not natural science. What you're I talking know. about is called engineering. Engineering yeah, but... is not <laughs> natural science. You fucking retard. Okay, so Nathan, first of all, you're taking the lowest part of the argument pyramid, which is name calling. I just want to highlight that for you. Secondly, I just want to highlight you're a fucking <laughs> retard, okay? Just highlighting Secondly. that for the audience. No, Moose been... Brain is a fucking <laughs> retard. That's why right, our chat down, should call him yeah. Moose Brain. All right, so Nathan, um, first of all, moons are part of nature, right? It's part of the natural observed phenomenon. What I'm doing is using a man-made object, as we said earlier, to observe and test, right? I naturally observe phenomenon, which we have agreed before your entry into this Discord that that is okay. You can't experiment on the moon or anything in the sky because you can't test or manipulate the moon or anything in the sky. Any more fucking retarded scientists? You get that part, uh, Smooth. It's about testing it. So again, remember we were saying that if you just assume something, you don't really know something, right? We can do observational experiments in the sky. That is basically the <laughs> consensus we can that do this group has come to. That's about, hey, that's, to be honest, that's the middle ground right now. 
You're just gonna attack the Nathan. That's a that's a really bad answer talking to you, dude. It has talking so about I'm agreeing with Nathan science. too, though. See, that's what you guys better not fucking miss. You oh guys also God. agree with him, but then you want to move the bar back and be like, oh, but we can make observational experiments and then act like the observational experiments are as rigid and as conclusive as these other things where you're manipulating variables. That's where you're disrespecting science. These guys have really lost not. Really this <laughs> this <laughs> manipulating variables, this the, uh, QE's scientific method is not. It's science. not QE's, though. It's, it's not, not really right. Right. It is. It absolutely is. But it's not. QE's. And it's but, not. But, yeah, it's it is. It is. It is. It is. It is. It is. Find any reputable source. Find any reputable source anywhere that defines science via this method. No, you're and moving this the fucking goalpost now, dude. I can no, do I'm that. not. You I are. No, we're I'm talking not. about the strength of that type of experiment. No, we're, we're not. There's all we're talking about science, whether it is or isn't this science. This one yeah, yeah. has Don, a different strength. We're not talking strength. about the strength. We're talking about the, the validity. Stop dude, moving the goalposts. Fuck off, dude. No, no. Here's the deal. You guys need to recognize Stop the validity for the what it is. Po Hold on, man. I interrupted the same. Hey, so Don, chill out. I'm just holding you guys to get You've got a citation here. You guys are using objects. So Done. using observational Done. correlations and acting as if that's the same as a rigid lab experiment. You're off your fucking rocker. Yeah, it's we don't care about QEs. We don't care science. about QEs. It's not QEs. Stop it is QEs. It is QEs cherry picked script. From other forms right, of but now you need to establish, Nathan, because that, that, of its that, requirement. Of but. You're muted. Now you need to establish, Nathan, that the scientific method referred to in this passage is QE's four-step program. Go ahead. It's science's four-step program. Gonna it's science's yep, four-step well, program. Yeah, well, I'm happy right. for you to do that. You're all right, wanker, bitch boy. And I don't care if you're here hey, or I not. I know you want to ask me all sorts of questions and don't want to hear the answer. But if you meet me again, I'll just fuck Just answer the question. Right. Right. You, you, you are almost certainly going to get muted again. It's in the chat for your loser ass. Just answer the so question. If you, if you try and parrot oh. QE's script in here, I will just mute you. Because we've all heard it a mean? thousand times. We know what it it's is. It's not his script. A, it's the professor it, it is of a script. Yale. It is the a professor script. of it's physics at Yale said it's that. It's a script that you got off Quantum Eraser. I met your claims. You said, show me one other person that believes what QE believes about the scientific right. and method. Well, not, and you have not established that. The professor of physics at the University of Yale agrees with him. Why does this kid get no, he so doesn't. Yelling? No, he doesn't. Richard because... Feynman, Nobel no, Prize doesn't. winner, really agrees yelling, with him. Man. No, he doesn't because... Yeah. I... As I, he does. I as... posted it in the chat. Would you like I... me to read? He says, no, if it no. doesn't agree with... You're muted again. As I pointed out, that that passage does not establish that the scientific method referred to is QE's four-step program. He's gone. Good. What yeah. a bitch. Okay, I'd like to dis... Oh, I like to gem easy. highlighting the Hey, Don, awesome. Don, if you, if you want to get on that train as to Jesse Leaves right now is with him, letting you know. Who, it, do you brain, just, that? Smooth brain, do you think it that you could be the scientific than method? Me actually, it anything, and you want to get rid of me when I'm like a stronger method. teammate? It could Are be any serious? scientific method. I like Jeremy, what you, you presented as the disconnect, Jim. I like that, right? Just not as loud. Well. It doesn't mean that you get to keep saying QE is the one that came up with having control and independent variables, because you know he's not, Jem. That isn't what I'm saying. That is not what I said. I never say anything of that nature whatsoever. I, okay, yeah, Did I don't not want to you, but I'm You're, generalizing that's a straw, man. It's the a QE, this straw, QE man. thing. Here. I never said anything of the sort. You're saying QE's four-step process, right? Right. Right. And Which is how he there are plenty defines okay. science. Yeah, listen. Nobody else listen. defines okay. science that way. No listen. one. Jim, we said that there's plenty of different ranges of science, but that style of science that you keep calling QE style, I learned when I was five. There were scientists that learned that hundreds of years ago how exactly. to have controls. 
I'm exactly. sorry. It's what they okay, teach hold the five-year-olds. Hold on, real quick, real quick. <laughs> the fact that you're saying exactly means that QE's not the only one. It's not his. We learned it when we were five, and they did it 100 years ago. Again, again, he uses that to define science. Okay, but we're, we've thrown that. Science. We're not doing the that whole in here. of science. We're not doing just, that in here, Jim. Listen, Jim. listen. Okay, the whole I agree. of science is just that four step program. Okay, I That's agree. All I agree. It is, what, Jim? Is that and nothing but that. Okay, I agree with you. That Did is you incorrect. learn that when Jim? you were five? Okay, can I go though? Because I want to. Show me anybody else that says that's true. Okay, fine. Uh, I'll back you up on that point. There aren't other people that sh only crazy people who say that's the only way to do it. But I thought the agreement we had in here was that there are different levels, and that you know observational type is one level. Putting your hands on is a different level, right? Can real control you're, and you're saying, isolation you're of variables is, is a more stronger level. And it seems I like every time I, I get to say, Jim. I'm trying to get it out. I can't really hear you. I'm, I know, I'm, I'm you're saying I've agreed to something that I haven't agreed to. Okay. Okay. Sorry. I thought that we all acknowledge I stand corrected. So I'll reassert. I feel like when you have that type of setup, you get to have more conclusive. Uh, it's, it's, it's how you, you're going to go deeper pinpointing stuff that way than just observation. Now, as far as in this group, for, for argument's sake, can we at least say that maybe some of the flat earthers understand how to draw correlations through observation, but they want to say that this is how you can lock solid make your definitive uh, falsification or proof of your hypothesis. And like, simple as that, man. Like, why does I it have to be – why can you not acknowledge that this is a stronger way? Because I don't think that it is. All right, man. I'm sorry. And, that, and that's all I'm how saying. Is it I stronger, how is it stronger to do an experiment like this? How is this stronger than me going and measuring something? I think measuring is doing an experiment like this. Measuring no, isn't not. just an observation. I'm not, do, I'm not doing There's no independent variables. I just go and I just take a tape measure and I measure my foot. Mm -hmm. As a result of it, I know, my, I know the size of my foot. Yeah, but you varied the, the, the tape measure. No, I haven't. Yes, you have. No, I haven't. You varied it from half an inch to an inch to two inches to three inches to four inches, and finally it got to six inches, and it was the size of your foot. So, so what you're saying is then the, the, uh, the tape measure caused the size of my foot. No, it didn't cause. You're, you're well, that's what, that's that's what I'm doing if I'm doing this method. Right. Well, okay, then yeah, the, your what's tape the measure cause and the effect relationship of it being six inches. Yes. What's the cause your and effect relationship? Your foot, your foot is six inches. The what's tape the measure cause validated. and effect relationship? Who cares? Listen, you can disrespect that if you want. Here. You can get goofy if you want. I'm the just playing is, your game. Group, I'm just playing group, your stupid saying that that's game back at you and pointing out how ridiculous. I want to jump in to say there's more than just QE that believes this, and it's kind of like you're like, yeah. Well, who? You and me, and like we said when we're five, we believe it. We just don't. We just don't no, have to. No, I didn't. We don't have to stand on it like a dying hill, like QE no, stands on it. Nobody was. I wasn't taught when I was five that all of science was this four-step method. I was See, never taught that. No, no, no. I don't you think keep anybody doing that is, again. I don't think anybody has ever taught that, and and that is what what you and QE are claiming. I'm uh, not saying that this isn't. I'm not this saying that forth, this. Man. I am not saying that this method isn't used in science and isn't valid scientifically. I'm not saying that. I'm saying you cannot define science as this method. Okay, so for argument's sake, stop making people uh, communicate it to you that way, and start hearing it as if they're saying this is the strongest way. Well, it's going to be a lot not, more that's fair. That's specifically they're not, not stop, what they're saying, Dom. They're but saying, that is what I'm saying, and you keep saying I'm, I'm saying what QE's well, saying, and I'm telling what you I'm not. Saying. I'm not, not saying really this is the only way you. to do science, but I am this, saying it's you? the best way. I say you get the most out of this way. So, so you can hear it 15, 20, 25 times. Eventually, I hope you start making the distinction you know, here. Uh, again, again, how is it better than me going and measuring something? Well, the more work you do on something, usually the better it is, right, Jim? You so have more if I go, if I measure my foot, 
right? If I measure my foot, I'm less sure of the size of my foot than I would be or uh, if I do, I don't know, if I drop an egg in some salty water to try and establish something. Okay. How, Jim, how, how, how is that true? That isn't true. Jim, you want if to I vary my... stuff as much as possible, and the more you vary it, the more solid your, your conclusion and understanding will be, right? We all have to agree with this. All right, so I make multiple measurements of my foot. Exactly. There you go. You're being. Well, you're uh, using the science. You're. You're not using. Exact, no. Unquote, no. All right. Okay, again, right there. Okay. You just don't recognize what is it, it. What's the cause and effect relationship then? The cause and effect relationship. The cause. Yeah. The the cause. I'm the, using the this scientific method, is, if, and if that's what this the scientific cause and method effect does. Is if you put the tape measure up to my foot, it will cause me to read it at the length of my foot. So just see, measure, see, just because you're not the, creative enough to understand how to so apply the, tape the process, measure causes doesn't reading. mean that you should shoot all the rest of us down. So the tape measure causes reading, is what you're saying. Yeah, doesn't it? So, uh, you can't but, read it without the, the tape measure. Is, you put the tape measure so how does that it. get me to any knowledge of my foot, then? Dude, it doesn't matter. You're being ridiculous right now. Uh, no, you know you I'm point No, you no. know you're dying on a hill of me saying the more work you do, the more understanding you're no, going to have. You want to die on that. Hill. I don't it's think so that's funny. any. I don't, just don't think that that's true. I think if I make measurements of my foot, I know the size of my foot. Well, that scientists is. work harder, harder, harder because they all know it's I, true, Jen. And, and the thing is, you keep wanting to say these people in here, Nathan Thompson, me, or whoever, chemo, we're, make, we're saying it has to be exactly like quantum race. Or saying that's the only way you could do something. You know what? For argument's sake, say we give you some wiggle room. We say there's other ways you could do science. Great. We still want to do rigid fucking experiments before we say we have a strong enough conclusion. I mean, what's the problem with that? Why, why are you against that philosophy? It's the ethos of science. Because, because, again, that is not the ethos of science, and that is not the argument that's being made. The argument that's being made isn't, oh, we can know, if we can know stuff really with, with great uh, confidence if we use this method, and if we use other methods, we can know stuff with less confidence. The argument that's being made is, all that's valid is this method. And everything else is pseudoscience okay. and can be ignored. Think that's the argument little, that's right? being made. They're, they're saying all that's valid to, 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 to jump up and dance around the way you guys dance around, all confidently banging your chest. Yeah, that's the only way that you should be doing that. So you got to understand. you got to hear your point now. Well, I what, appreciate what your time, all Jeff. Of Hopefully that your audience mean? heard and it. How is, and uh, are, you, are you saying then that I'm correct? I've they, always said both sides are correct method. on this, Gem. I've said all day that both sides are correct. I've said this all day. You well, guys are I just don't, I don't think that they're the correct extremes in of each other's way. points. I don't think that they're correct. I think that they're they're using this method, as I pointed out at the start, as a as a route to ignorance. Right. It's I a think way Jeremy, to it's a way to right. ignore the, the uh, evidence of the natural world. Okay, and, well, be, and, and yet the mm -hmm. goal of science is to gain knowledge about the natural world. I and agree, so, man. And that and I, should listen, tell you it seems like that you're should a tell you that there's overly... something wrong okay. with this method because its goal is opposite to its uh, result. Only in the field. See, you're feeling a little defensive. Like they're trying to tear down some of the beating the chest conclusions of astronomy and stuff like that. I understand that you think that that's opposite. But look, uh, as a as a what I want to be third party on this, man, it seems like you might have a little like overly defensive bias of this, that it's making you extremify their communication. OK, like just maybe give them a little wiggle room with the communication, man, because I do think you're kind of acting reactively defensive. OK, put away the thesaurus, man. Nobody gives you fuck. Right, anyway, no, Jim, thanks no for your wiggle. time, man. Hopefully the audience, Don, you know, heard some no counterpoints. Room with this. The base definitions of science are established. So what wiggle room are you looking for? The communication, the understanding of communication. The understanding of communication. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Like when the other side is saying, when, when me and Jeremy and Kimo and Nathan are saying like, hey, man, you want to validate some of this stuff, right? Like that, that's when you understand it's conclusive. You guys are going, but we're looking at it, but we're looking at it in the sky. Okay, 
you're thinking that, that the fighter side is going, looking at it tells you nothing. Everybody knows looking at it tells you something and you can make predictions. They, and you know, flatter, you want to, you know, it does, but I understand your point where you're going, Oh, now they want to stand up and beat their chest and go, Oh, we looked. And so we know it's gotta be gravity or orbits and all that. And you guys actually, you're wrong there. You haven't done that. You're still, you're guessing. Fuck you, Don. Wrong. No, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, no. hold on. No. Because you're going to no. fucking mishear it when no. you interrupt, motherfucker. No. You're going to mishear it. On this point, you're Don, gonna fucking you can mishear fuck it. off. Let me fucking on clarify. This point, right? Let him finish. Let him finish, Rocket. I'm gone. Oh, you want to let me finish? Go on, hurry up. Right. Okay, so again, you're going to beat your, and I'm generalizing, Rocket, and I'm not trying to take nothing away. But it seems like when you get up and you do it, you go, we know that it's this, that you're, that you're acting as if you've manipulated a variable, right? It gets to that point where you guys act like you've done a lab type experiment through manipulating variables. And then, then they're going, hey, wait, you've not done this. So I want to take the stance of, wait, you got to manipulate the variable to act like that. Now, I'm not saying to live your life and to fucking make correlations. You always have to fucking do that. But you guys got to hear each other's side, man. You guys got to be able to reconcile this communication. We're all normal human beings. We, come on, guys. Don, go take your meds because you act like this when you don't take your meds. Dude, you know what? It's funny. That's all you guys got to say is you're a warm glass of water. No, take your meds. You all your, the you audience commit, hears the logic. Fine, but the today audience you're hears all the logic. Here. Sees the leadership. Sees putting the bullshit to the side. Be right. scientists, right. and on, this, on the points, on the points of using satellites and measurements and independent variables and all of that, I'm, I can confirm to you, it has been done. My colleagues are doing it. My team is doing it on a daily fucking basis. This is how we conduct satellite operations. This is how we keep the stuff operating mm. in space. Okay. Well, I'm pretty sure the flat earthers want to hear your your control and your variables since since you're saying you're doing it so much. What's your hypothesis? No, I won't, even, I won't even entertain that idea because I refuse to accept their base definition. This is what I'm saying. You're like, hey, I'm we're not going to engage it. until we have a, until that is accepted. Well, guys, guys, just try to give each other a little bit of wiggle room on the no, extreme side. No, you should. I don't give ground on this. Well, whatsoever. that's how communication works, Rocket. So go no, back in your done. little robot. I and many of the people in have spent decades studying these topics and concepts. And I will Ooh, not have so, a little fucking floor so mopper get some come here and tell me Misunderstand otherwise. people's brains then because you want to argue about words or, or whatever or rigidity and fucking communication. Yeah, don't be flexible like, communication, the people Rocket. That are being that, rigid, be that way. They're the people that are doing the rigidity. They're you know saying what, it's this set of... This, this set so of be four, the better listen, man. Listen. They're saying it's this set of four, rule, four rules and nothing else. It's this really? and that's it. It's that for certain things is what they're saying. Well, no, uh, if, 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 if you drill things. down, you get that. But normally, for any claim you make, they'll, take, they'll try and drag you into this idiotic word game. So it, it's true that if you push QE on this, he will say, yes, there are other ways that we can know things. But oh, it's... But and and then you say to him, "Well, why are you insisting that people use this method then?" And he will say, "Because you guys say it's the whole body of science that that says the Earth's a globe. So we're putting that to the test." And that that statement is is um, a single sentence that Rumpus said in Nathan's hangout. Right, right. So yeah, QE, yeah, yeah. so QE, so QE, the honest, truth-seeking Christian QE, who it, it, the reason he drags people oh, into this yeah. word game is because of a single sentence that Rumpus said two years ago. Absolutely, absolutely but we don't need to even care about QE. Me and you know we that do, because this, the more this we work game on comes the from more... him. It emanates yeah, only but... from him. It's Fine, intellectually you... dishonest. But we got to cut that. I don't know the fallacy of what of, of the application here, but it's like just because he's saying he loves Madonna and I'm saying I love Madonna, it doesn't mean we're the same person. You know what I mean? Like it, it could be worthy of loving Madonna, could be worthy of love, but QE loves her for a crazy reason. That doesn't mean that we shouldn't love her for the right reasons. And, I think I, uh, you know, I, like, I think if you make your bed, you should lie in it. And this is this is. I'm not QE. lying in QE's bed, motherfucker. This is well. It, you haven't uh, met, come up with this idea yourself. Bullshit. No, no and you That's drank bullshit. Kool -Aid. Now you drank the Kool Aid. Okay.
Dude, yeah, when yeah, I was man. fucking, yeah. who who as a kid didn't understand that they had to figure out ways to manipulate the variable to prove the effect that they're thinking about? Seriously, oh, we, we, you, you, nobody I, ever taught who I, didn't that, think about that. Nobody ever taught you that that and that alone defined all of science. I Again, I this is I, where you're putting it in a box, dude. You're going that defines all of well, science that, type of shit, that's, dude. That's what they that's say. What Huey they does. say that's what no one unless here has done. That. That's why I jumped in. Nathan, I'm sorry for but talking that's what over they you. Say, Timo, dude. I'm sorry for talking over you, bro. But I heard you guys acting immature on this point. That's why I jumped in. They're not doing that. Yes, they are. They are okay, absolutely I, I doing Okay, I see it. I stand corrected. You guys okay, so because you're wrong. They the say that everything that isn't this method is pseudoscience. Fine, I stand corrected. Fine. So I would point to uh, uh, I would point to technology as an example of how science can be done without experimentation, because of course, technology has existed since the beginning of human civilization. Since a human being stuck a a, a rock on a stick and, and made a spear, right? That's an example of technology. Now, what is technology? Technology is simply the application of scientific principles. So you can do science without, because unless you're going to say that the, sci the, the technology didn't exist till the six to the I think it's 17th century. I think that's when the scientific method was first proposed. Unless you're going to say that science, uh, no technology existed up until then. Science has been done. Science has been practiced. Science. It's something other than it, it can encompass experimentation, but it is not limited to experimentation. There you go. I mean, technology exists. Therefore, science has always existed since technology has existed. 